press the button and go. Oh, wait, bear talking? I gotta, I gotta fix the bear at some point. Like the delay for the audio for the mouth is still pretty bad. Like from the time I start talking until the time it fires. We'll fix that at some point. Yeah, I don't know. Hey everybody, how's he doing? I mean, you know, the zero of you that are here yet. Because bang, immediate start. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, I need to go check out the thing over here and do the thing just so I can see what's up and be cool with it and that'll be fine. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And let's see what else is happening here. I need to go look at this so I can see this happening. I'm gonna do this so I can see this happening. I should have prepped all this stuff earlier. I forgot. It's not on my checklist, therefore it didn't happen. All right, this is looking good. I dig it. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. So let's see, what's gonna happen tonight? I don't really know. Um, had a good night last night. Uh, woke up at like four in the morning. Decided uh, I'm gonna pitch an idea for how to like fund uh, Neapolitan actually. Like I'm gonna, I've decided, and I've gone back and forth on this a few different times, but I've decided now that like Neapolitan is gonna be the thing that I do. And I've been, I've been in that decision space three or four times before. And like, I'm in it again. And like, I'm in it and like it clicked in a new way for me last night. And so I woke up four in the morning, recorded a podcast talking about it, which I'll post at some point when I, I just got to edit it. And then, you know, cool. It'll be neat. But I saw, saw a video that was kind of cool. So, and there's another one I want to watch now. I mean, not now, but like, you know, soon, uh, which is this one by Corey Doctor. I think I've seen this one before. Distant Chin of Fire Die. I think I've seen this before. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna look at it soon. Uh, also, I watched a bunch of videos today, like the West Wing video, that's pretty good. I don't know, that's pretty good. But like, I don't know, Neapolitan is gonna be a thing. Like, I'm gonna build it, it's gonna be for people who like it, and we're gonna do it, you know, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I don't know, let's fuck around with the website a little bit. So, let me quit this, I actually don't know what I am. Neovim Autotyper. Um, I've got that working. Let's go just look at Neapolitan for now. Neopologen, right? And I think I just want to play with the site. So, templates, here we come. Um, what do we want to look at? Let's look at that post. My keyboard doesn't feel like it's responding quite right. I want to do a short. So here's, here's what I'm thinking is, oh, the first thing I want to do is fix this a little bit. So let's look at, by the way, I've got somebody on Mastodon who's interested in running Neapolitan. Uh, I just have to figure out how to get it to install on Windows. So I might mess with that tonight. I don't know if I have the energy tonight. If not, I'm going to get that this weekend and have that be a thing because, like, it would be cool to have uh, somebody else using it. Like, Yag Yag's using it at least once, or he's got it to install. <coughs> so there's one other person besides it. And, like, maybe there will be two soon. And, like, but I'm also at the point where I'm, like, ready to, like, okay, fuck it. Like, it's, let's cross the threshold. Let's do it. Let's put it out there and let's see what happens. Because I've been using it long enough, it's stable enough, like it's doing all the things it needs to do. So we're gonna run with it. Now, uh, also my machine fans are really spinning up right now. I do not know what's happening there. That's disconcerting, but say love you. Uh, I wanna fix this home link real quick. And just like, I'm gonna leave, I've decided I'm gonna leave the color scheme up here just all the time. Like that's gonna be there. Oh, sorry, flashbang. Um, I won't click the white one because it's gonna be another flashbang, but like, I, I really have enjoyed having the thing up there. Um, this is a post to Mike Ramar that we'll edit at some point for those things and then be there. Uh, but let's look now at themes, Neapolitan. This is in what? This could be in files, in styles, in theme CSS. And then what I wanna do is, hello, how are you? Uh, let's look at this real quick, inspect. See if my inspector shows up. I had so many tabs open in Firefox that my uh, dev inspector wouldn't show up earlier. It was really kind of funny. Um, okay, so we've got the header and then we've got the color switcher. So, hmm, how do I want to do that? Um, you know, what I guess I could do is let's change that actually in the, uh, where am I going? Wrappers, I think it's in wrappers, one column. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the this like the main template as cut down as possible while at the same time adding all the shit that I want to have in there, right? I'm kind of in this weird state where I'm using the default template or like the, the default template is my site right now. And like, that's just going to be the way it is for a while. Eventually those things will branch out. 
but I don't, I'm still adding all the stuff to make the default template work. So I'm just doing it as my site. And that's gonna be a thing. Also adds in 10 seconds, sorry for that. I'm about to back out of the affiliate program so that that doesn't happen anymore. Um, let's see, where are we going? Right here. So color switcher. Isn't nav a HTML nav MDN? Nav is a specific thing. Yeah, so it's supported everywhere. Nav HTML element represents a section of a web page whose purpose is to provide navigation links, either within the current document or to other documents. Common examples include navigation selections, et cetera, et cetera. So nav. Yeah, so we're gonna call this nav. And then just run it that way. Right? Nav. Nav. And then this will be class of what do we want to call this? Um global nav global nav let's call it global nav like that because that way we, like i don't want to just target nav in general i want to like go to a specific class um so let's pull down here and see oh i've added a bunch of shit i may play with color themes tonight too um i don't know it's just like it's gonna be chill like just doing the thing a little bit today like i again i was up i, I got up at four in the morning i reported a podcast i was a, i was not sure if i was going manic or not um i I'm not, or I wasn't, or I didn't, whatever. Um, I was ready to like, A, take some more pills and B, call the psych ward. But, um, actually I probably wouldn't call the psych ward, but I would take some more pills and see how that went. But uh, that did not become an issue, so. And I, it doesn't, I, like I don't have the energy feel that like, I feel like I'm about to do that, so cool. Uh, here we go, nav dot nav equals this. And what we wanna do is just do, um, padding oh my god jump by van halen coming on oh yeah so the other thing i've decided is i'm gonna i'm gonna finish a version of music sync but it's only going to be for me i'm not gonna try and do that as a business but i do want to have the ability of doing music sync and having music sync be a thing and just let it be like alanwsmith.com slash music or whatever and then you'll be able to sync up with me when i'm doing streaming stuff the only thing i've found about that that i really like is like or that i'm not digging right now is oh hang on a second Hello? I swear I thought I heard different sounds. I'm gonna keep my music off for a second. That was really weird. Um, padding, whatever, padding, top. Uh, one rim, one rim, save. And then, that was really weird. I thought I heard somebody else. S kind of kind of weird hey 64 how's it going uh all right let's see what that is there there might be somebody at my door i'm like i'm not fucking going over there but like i keep i keep thinking i'm hearing sounds man kind of freaking me out have you heard of the chris java bug where the hash code for the string polygene lubricants will cause it to emit a weird value <laughs> can't tell if joke uh, but have not heard either way that feels like a setup for a joke uh, let's see yeah by the way bi so binary 64 what do you pr what do you prefer to go by I have we had this conversation before my brain is kind of has holes in it sometimes um, I don't think I've got you on my stream name list stream names oops that was the wrong one stream Chat names. Uh, yeah, I don't have you. It, like, have binary sixty four. What do you like to being called? Let me know. Um, that's one. This is one XP. If you write Notepad XX, this will break Notepad <laughs> and save it. It reopens. It opens Chinese. Oh, that's pretty cool. I did not know that one. Uh, cool. So let's look. I don't think this did anything right but nav global nav oh it's called global nav i did the wrong thing uh, that's why it didn't work uh nav is really global nav g l l b g wow my brain just went uh let's move that into where it actually needs to be a b c d e f g h I. Okay, so it should go there. 
Uh, but hash scatter is used for uh, sorting hashes into buckets, for example. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I follow you on that. And having a bad value can cause issues. Interesting. Well, yeah. So, like, when you say a bad value, does it like? Is it like wrong somehow? Like, how is it wrong? What does it break? I guess is my question. I guess that's my question. That was like literally the question that I asked. What does it break? All right, let's see if that did anything. Uh, didn't do anything yet. It's possible though that I'm not syncing the templates over. Uh, am I syncing the templates over? I am. So that global nav padding one rim. Let's move this to like three rim or something, right? Just so we can make sure we're seeing it. Oh, there it went. It did go. Let's do two rim. Love it. Oh yeah. So my I, I have like my image stuff on and like we're doing full build. So it takes and this is the full site. So it takes a few seconds to build. Ashes into glass, we're not buckets, uh, but wherever you want. Yeah. Minimum possible value in it, so it cannot uh, be turned positive easily. Oh, interesting. You know, two's complement has the biggest minimum, one bigger than exponents. You've, I th just barely know what you're talking about, except I probably don't actually know what you're talking about. Um, that's like some of the binary flip things, right? Is that, am I close? All right, I brought the music back because I don't hear anybody at the door anymore. Um, there we go. Yeah, so let's, I don't know, let's add an underline or something under there too. Uh, global nav, border, top. I think I've got one. No, actually, can I do this? Var, border, B-O-R. Shit. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it this way. One. Pick solid and then var. I'm gonna do. I'm using like black and white reverse uh, at 40%. So that uh, what I've got set up this is in my style sheets now. BW reverse. If I'm on a black screen, will show up as a white line. And if I'm on a white screen, which I'm not gonna click on right now because I don't want to flashbang y'all, it will show up black. Like it's the it's the inverse of whatever the background color is. That's really slow to load. What the fuck. Oh, whoops, that needs to be margin, doesn't it? Margin. Wait, no. Padding. Margin. Got it. Margin two rim. And then let's do border bottom two. Save. It's used to represent negative numbers and integer by having a sign bit. Gotcha. Okay. That kind of makes sense. I Have you seen my blog post on binary stuff? I almost got into that. Um, oh, wow. Sorry. That was, that's my production site, which was not the thing. Um, but I did this, how this ones and zeros post, which I can actually drop that. Maybe we're going to drop that tonight. It's flashing white again. And I don't like that. I, I had it not doing that, but it's doing it again. And I'm not cool with it. Um, but like on this post, I go down and like this is like using switches to demonstrate like bits and stuff. And it goes through like, here's how we add bits together. And this is how you get numbers and use multipliers. And then like it goes all the way down to like um, letters, right? So like here's ABCDFG, whatever. And then, but I didn't get into like one of these has add subtract on it. And I just completely punted, right? So I'm on zero. If you hit subtract, I don't do anything. Like you only, you can only go up. Uh, and I kind of address down here. I'm like, there is ways to do that. But like this post is already pretty long. So we'll cover that in a future post and then flip it that way. Um, Cause I don't like that. This is one of those like branch things where it's like that, but like, we're not at that point at this point of this post. Like that's not this. Oh yeah. But then it goes down and then we do uh characters we do it the other way so you type in a letter it gives you the thing we type in words it gives you shit uh then we do colors uh then we do colors more colors and then we do a slider to show how that works uh then we do a full slider where you get all 256 and then we end up with full-blown color things and so this is how colors and memory work and that's how that's the ones and zeros of computers now you don't have to read the post 
Um, this book, however, you should read. Code, the Hidden Language of Computers and Hardware and Software. Really good. Uh, cool. All right. Anyways, that was a little tangent. I'm gonna tangent a lot today. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Neapolitan. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make. I've worked on it for two years, so now I'm just gonna work on it for however long I can afford to work on it, and like, keep doing it and like making a thing because I believe that if we can get more people doing creative work and making art, it will make us less pissed at each other, and I think that's a very good thing. Everything secretly floats. I think I did know that because you can do like you can do weird tricks with like a billion plus a billion equals like point nine 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 or point zero 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 one or something, right? Like it it you hit the the edge of the floats. I don't remember what the particular math was on that, but I've I've seen a couple of things like that. Uh, did I put that up there? Yeah, so there we go, home. There we go. So we got a color scheme. We've got home. That's the only links that we have right now. Um, okay, that's cool. My grimoire. Okay, so the other thing I think I want to do, I think I'm actually just going to play with the site a little bit right now. And what I mean by that is, um, originally what I was going to do is turn this into like a blog thing, right? Where you go and you have just like reverse chronological, but like, I did that and there's like, there's 2000 posts on the site and that's a lot. So what I think I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna hand edit the homepage basically. Um, Cause when I make a post, like it, it's, it's overwhelming to think about doing it right now because it's not really done yet, except that I've kind of started it a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna run with that and be that the way that it goes. So let's make, Let's make a new wrapper. Um, or do we need to make a new wrapper? Can we can we do this with just the CSS? No, I think I, I think I want homepage as its own wrapper, right? Homepage neoj, and I'll just have to like deal with the fact that there's two of them now. Uh, we can just copy and paste to start with. So, whoops, that's in the wrong place. Uh, zero Y, nope. Wow, GZ, Y, G. I've kind of forgotten how to Vim right now. My brain is doing the weirdy thingy, Bob. Safe. Why did that not highlight? There it went. I uh, just wanted to see it again. Uh, okay, cool. So let's go look at the actual site homepage now. Wow, I'm out of space on this. Okay, you go there. You come down here. Let's get a little extra happening here. Really browser, love it. And then, uh, where are we going? We're gonna go look at site homepage. And let's pull, oh, tag is post. Type needs to be homepage. Yeah, that's cool. We can make a type of a homepage, I like that. Hey Robin, how are you? Doing good, thank you. I'm doing really good and not too good. I'm not having a manic episode, so like that's cool. Um, site, site, theme, files, pages, posts. We need to do a um, homepage. P U B L I S H E D dot neo j. Right, uh, and then here look, I'm just gonna pull posts as the initial thing. I really, so eventually I'm going to make an LSP for this. Cause like if I do this in, um, code, but well, it didn't work. How about this? Yeah. Try now. See, like I get a little bit of syntax highlighting in VS code, uh, that eventually I want to like set up and make an LSP for NeoVim so I can do it here. I need to make an LSP for this too, cause like it's, I'm using a different thing and it's a little bit different, um, but at least gives you something to look at and you can see some amount of syntax highlighting versus this, which is very hard to look at. Uh, so if you see me bouncing around and you're like, I can't follow that because there's a syntax highlighting. Yes, you are correct. It is kind of a pain in the ass right now, but I don't, haven't had a chance to build an LSP yet. I mostly use liquid. Yeah, I used liquid when I was using Jekyll. Um, I liked liquid. Uh, 
probably more than I like this particular format. So this is mini Jinja, um, which is based off Jinja. So it's the rust version of Jinja. Um, the biggest trick with it is mini Jinja is like I've, I've done enough Jinja stuff that I know how it works and mini Jinja is super fucking powerful. Like I'm still figuring out all the things I can do with it. Uh, but it's. I have the capability of like sending functions back and making calls back into objects, which is really cool. I don't like probably other things have that too, but I use many Jinja first and it had it and I don't like, I need that. So n now that I know that, that exists, I'm not going to go with anything else. So like Jinja is going to be it. And by the way, if you like, if somebody wants to like give you a different template wrapper, like it's open source, we can do that. Um, but it's, you know, first, first iteration is going to be this one rolling through. Um, I really, I did like Jekyll a lot. Um, my, my, my issue, I guess a little bit with Jekyll is kind of the same thing I have with other things, which is like, because it's Markdown, it's just Markdown. And like, I think my fundamental issue with all that stuff is, um, was losing the, whatever. Why is my music not going? It looked like the music wasn't going. Oh, it was just in between songs. I got it. Never mind. Oops. Okay. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing that I've realized over the past two years doing this is the, the missing key is the file format with which to do your stuff. Like trying to do stuff with Markdown is very limiting in terms of what you can pull off with it. Like you can always like roll out and just like hand code HTML in there. But like, realistically, that's not like, I don't want to be handwriting HTML. I want to be able to basically send like, I want to be able to do what I did with Native Politan, right? I mean, like, the actual thing, right? So, like, in a site homepage, I want to be able to make a list. And I want to be able to add a title to that list. And I want to be able to have links the way that I want. Like, these are all things you can actually do in Markdown or whatever. But, like, um, I don't know. I, I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to YouTube. Actually, oh, let me see if this works. This may not work. Um, doesn't identify the net. So, copy. Well, if this doesn't work, we're going to fix this right now, actually. I can't remember if this works right now. Ooh, I want to jump over to a faster build site. Do I want to build? Oh, fuck. If I do this, it's going to be all the sites that have to do it. Ah, that's the one downside of only having, like, there's no separation of concerns here for me. Um, did that work? It did not. Okay, let's fix the YouTube video. Cause that I definitely want that to show up. Oh wait, I'm on homepage. No, it's gonna show up. Hang on. Section unknown flow YouTube. Okay, let's add YouTube. Uh, sections. Basic. There should not be a YouTube here, right? Yeah, there's not a YouTube. Okay, cool. So let's add YouTube. So we're gonna add YouTube. T U B E T U B E T U B E. Jesus Christ. Start slash default.neoj eh. and then we need to add uh, end default neoj and we need to add full default.neoj this is one of those where it's like it's a little complicated to set up a new template like I, I I can't make I haven't been able to figure out how to make it take less steps I wish I could, but this is just going to be one of those things where like, that's just kind of the way that the thing works. And hopefully like, well, the people that are going to use this are people who are going to tinker, right? So if you're a tinkerer, you're going to play with this stuff and you're going to be cool with it, or you're going to be frustrated with it and do it anyways, or you're going to do something else like those. Like I'm not, I, I have to get out of my own head about the like trying, like I want to make it as nice and as smooth as possible, but I'd like that there are endpoints there um i think you don't need a whole complex uh development environment to build all the html i can just publish for files for example yeah exactly and that and so that's the same way that this works right um i've got and eventually i've got a front end for it so like i'm even going to get you where you don't have to be the command line there's going to be a little tari app like you can still just run it on the command line like i'm doing here like the, the the primary app is a command line app so you can always run it from a server or whatever um but I'm also going to front it with Atari app so that you can just like go. 
Um, funny thing happened, like I was just about to read an article on your blog and you start streaming. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, nice. What article out of curiosity? Uh, but yeah, this, so this thing, like when it's running, all its output, like I've designed its output to be as easy as possible to deploy. So like alanwsmith.com, this docs directory, that's the static site right there. And the reason it's called docs is because if you use GitHub pages, this will just load, like you can upload this repository and you can use GitHub pages out of the box. I don't like the fact that it's named docs. I wish I could uh, name it something else, but that's the, all that Google or uh, GitHub lets you do. Um, oh, I built an object. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm proud of that one. Um, also, it will answer a bunch of questions if you have questions about it. Also, if you do have questions, let me know because I'm happy to talk about it. Um, OK, let, let's see if YouTube is showing up yet. It's not. I have to restart this to pick up the new template, I think. I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, there's no content in there yet. How am I doing this? I really thought this was working, but block checklist JSON. Yeah, those are all just values, right? It's not in there. It's not in YAML. No. Okay, cool. So it is in YouTube. Uh, let's add a piece of content in here. Where's my homepage? There it is. Uh, this is a test. Let's just see if that shows up. I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm gonna be bouncing around so much of this. I'm gonna switch to a different site because this, like, I want, like, it's building 2,000 pages and I haven't done any optimization and it's doing all my image, and, like, a manager on it crashed and, like, all this other shit. So, like, it takes several seconds and I want it to be fast. Um, let's see if that at least showed up to start with. Yeah, this is a test aside. Okay, yeah, so I didn't decide. Okay, right on. Cool. Uh, so let's switch sites real quick, which will be fine because like I don't have a, like I'm not going to try and keep them separated, which I think is a song. Um, we need to go in Vim. We're going to go look at. I'm going to close all of that for now and we're going to in Vim. We're going to look at library application application support. Bleh, Neapolitan Neapolitan config JSON. And we're gonna switch our site. Again, this will also be stuff that we have that's easier to do. Um, so it's gonna be the Neapolitan site. We might as well just work on it. And roll tide. Uh, so now if we do build CLI and run, this is like this should go way faster. Oh, build image cache is still going. Hang on a second. Why did that take so long? Build image cache. That shouldn't be taking that long. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, NV. This is going to screw me later because I'm going to forget to turn it back on. But there's a I need to like my image cache isn't actually caching. <laughs> it's like it's stubbed out for images, but uh, well, I think that's in the wrong file. Neapolitan image. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> turn this back on when dev is done. All right, let's do that and see if this builds faster. So there's the build, uh, which takes a second. That's fine. That's the actual application build, though that is taking a while. What the hell, man. Okay, so now if we do this, if I go to the right place, which is where I need to go look at, um, uh, what the what the hell am I going? Need need poly poly. 10, 10, 10, 10. Was I saying that? Oh, Neo Neapolitan. Oh, shit. Is that like a problem that you're seeing? Or me just saying Neapolitan? Neapolitan, whatever. Um, bu 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 bu. We need to go to uh, documents. No, I just don't remember what that mean. I don't. For some reason. Brain not braining right now. Uh, okay, here we go. Files, content, content, documentation, homepage. All right, here's our homepage. So let's do this. I'm just going to start throwing stuff up here for a second. So if we go YouTube. Oh, actually, oh, yeah, bummer. Um, so if I refresh this, there's Neapolitan, right? So here's the homepage, which we're just going to screw with right now. 
And I'm going to go YouTube, Firefox. We're going to pull over this thing since that's what's open. And if I paste this and save this, see, that's how fast it goes with a smaller site. <laughs> um, didn't actually do anything, which is weird. Uh, okay, let me do this. We're going to make everything super small. That's as small as that gets, right? Be cool if it went smaller, but it doesn't. Okay, why didn't that? Oh, I know why. Because we're not syncing. Oh God, <laughs> it's really different to work on a smaller screen. Like I, I do a zoom way in when I'm doing um, streaming, so that you all can see the fonts hopefully easier. Easier, <laughs> easier. Sync. No, come here. Sync. Example site for dev. Wait, sync Neo template to AWS to Django. To theme converter. Sync example site for dev. Is that it? Sync doc themes, sync sites. Uh, let's just look at these files for a second. Oh God. Well, shit. <laughs> Bear with me. I just need to figure out which one's actually syncing to Neapolitan. That's going to example site, so that's not what we want to have. Sync. Docs theme. Dot docs. How was I syncing these things over to Neapolitan? Was I? I'm not sure if I was. Okay, whatever. We'll just do it now. Um. Or if I do that mess on Ah, sweet. I'll check that out. Uh, let's just copy sync neo template to. AWS and do sync neo template to neo p o l i g e n neapolitan and let's just run that sync neo template to neapolitan okay that should now sync over i hope so now if i restart this nothing happened what the fuck what am i missing Oh, there's no content in it. Try now. There it is. ASDF. Perfect. Oh, all the CSS isn't there. Rip. Um. Wait, it should be. What the fuck? Whatever. It'll be fine. Uh, I'll figure that out later. Or we'll figure that out, like, in flight. I guess it's right. Wow, I do not have a lot of space to work with. Um. Let's just zoom all that all the way down and zoom all that all the way down. It's great. I do want to see the actual output there. Cool. Uh, I can't make anything. I'm going to go, eh, we're going to be a little bit smaller. There you go. I just want to be able to see like a single line there. Open that up a little bit. Hopefully you can still read that. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Okay, so why I built new apology? So let's go... Oh, shit. I need two pages for this, don't I? Not at the moment. Okay, so let's quit out of this. Let's go back to CLI. Now let's go NV. And let's go look at our example site here. We're going to go look at themes, Neapolitan, sections. Uh, it's a basic section and it's the YouTube basic section. Yeah, again, like there's a bunch, like there's a shitload of files to make this stuff happen, but I defy you to show me how to make it less. Um, because I spend a bunch of time trying to like whittle stuff down and it's where it, it is where it is. So that is coming in as a paragraph as an unknown section. That is not what I wanted to see. And you know why is because I copied that file and yet, I did not edit the file. 
copy Neo template to Neopolygen. Oh my God, look at all this stuff. This is amazing. Eh. This is pointing to the wrong place. This should be uh, Finder. Where's my Finder? Come here, Finder. I think it's just Neopolygen.com, but we're gonna look at that and just make sure if we change it. Oh, neapologen.github.io. Got it. Okay. I definitely would have been doing the wrong thing there. By the way, IO domain going away. That's going to be interesting. Oh, shit. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm just, well, okay. I'm going to explicitly, I'm going to move that at some point because I don't want to have to deal with that like in transit. Like it's going to be its own thing. Um, I don't want to have to deal with the GitHub IO thing going away if they don't convince whoever I can to uh, stick with keeping that domain around. Or that top level domain. Whatever. There we go. Ooh, right. Sorry about that. Oh, there it went. Cool. I just needed to think for a second. So, okay. So I'm going to reload this now. Why is this not showing me in a side section right there? That shouldn't be unknown anymore. Um, I need to make a new thing here. So we're going to go into documents, Neapolitan, Neapolitan IO, LS. We're going to look at NV here. I need to go look at the content and in content, we're going to look at the homepage. YouTube should have fired. We've got the SDF. This is here, right? So we should see this like really quickly. Oh, now it's showing me an aside. What the fuck? That's what I was expecting. Why didn't it do that early? Oh, because it didn't build the page because the page was cached. I got to remember like, ah, uh, there, there are tricks with this caching. The one of the three problems of 87 computer sciences things, whatever. But anyways, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that aside. So that's cool. Now what we can do is go. I'm just going to do like the default YouTube embed for right now. Uh, share, which is not what I'll end up with, but it'll get us started. So if I do this, if I come back here, so if I just paste this, uh, this, whoops, undo, uh, redo, that's fine. Content aside content neo blocks all is that what we're doing for paragraphs too i'm gonna fly around on this i'm not gonna like if it's gets kind of funky it's just that's what it's gonna do for a second um close that so that is what we're doing so i can take this away so that should just make us paragraphs right oh and i've got to bump the page okay let's fix that i don't want to have to mess with that either um i need a debug flag should we add a debug flag? <sighs> yeah, we should. That's the right way to do this. Um, right. So here's admin. Here's uh, uh, config JSON. Default language. Okay, so why don't we add... How do we want to do this? What's going to be a good way to do this? Um, cash, CA, cash. And I'll make this, well, no, whatever. Um, I do want to have the images cast differently, I think, but like for right now, we'll just do this. Uh, true, need that here, true, does that work? Okay, so now we need to read that. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go back over here for a second. This is gonna be helpful. It's gonna take a minute to get there, but like we're doing dev now, so cool. Um, here, we need to go look at the source. But when you're building it, Hmm. 
No, I'm just gonna put it in. We're just gonna do it. We're like, I'm just, I'm gonna do, I've thought through it a little bit and like it may be a temporary thing, but like temporary things tend to stick around. So whatever, site config mod. Oh God, this is gonna possibly suck. Um, so struct. Pub, cache, bool. Save that. This should crash. So let's go fix all these things. Um, basic block, config section, block. So config section is not what we want. That's the struct. Let's pull this down. We'll see it crash. Like we know where it's crashing, if it's crashing. And go look at site config. This pulls the JSON, right? Cache database there. Admin join cache. Uh-oh. No, it's fine. Uh, I forget how to do this. It's been a while since I've fucked with this file. So that's the struct. There's the config struct. Implement new from config engine. From engine config, sorry. So we parse that down. Here's where you sort a JSON. Config parse. Some root is theme. That should have worked, maybe. Maybe not. Um, maybe I should read the error message. Missing cache. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. Site config mocks. Oh, the mocks are missing the cache. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, section. Section config. Config. Cache. False. Save. Missing field cache. Okay. Holy shit. Is this really... There's no way this is easy. Save that. And... We're green. Give me a green. Like it already compiled, which is really good. Or did, uh, did its first pre flight checks or whatever. It's compiling now. But like, hopefully we get a good signal here. Nope. Missing field cache. Oh wait, does this overwrite? Save that. Refresh. Neapolitan. Why is this load page? Oh, loading templates. Okay, we got to do the template check. Hmm. Where does that happen? Neapolitan engine 122. And then bin Neapolitan. 122 load pages from cache was having a pro wait why is that that seems weird um did you figure out what uh is false and false? yeah well so i know that i know that there is like true false right like like it ironically that's what we're using right now what i don't know is if there's like other things that are like uh falsy right so like in your post you had the javascript stuff and like Here's the things that are falsy or known. I think you use the word known false or whatever. Um, or I can't remember if you did false or true, whichever one it was. And so what I don't know is like if you're doing if, you know, something here, if there's like falsiness stuff or if it literally has to be false. It wouldn't surprise me at all with Rust if it literally has to be false or has to evaluate to false just because of the strong types. Um, I do not know if that's actually factual or not, though. I haven't, I haven't looked that up yet. So to answer your question, no, I haven't looked that up yet. But that is like what we're close to. And Java, it has to be false. Yeah, I, I, my guess is in Rust. Like if I had to guess, I wouldn't put my life on the line or anything or even five bucks. Um, but my guess is it actually has to be like little, literally the false. Loading templates. See, I feel like... 
Unwrap. Missing cash. Line one, column 7,753. Awesome. So when I load... Site config mox mod. Where am I loading the templates from? I think we do that in builder, right? Load, actually let's do config, right? Let's see if we make a config somewhere. Builder, new from site config. Config, some site config clone. That's all deprecated. Maybe I could see more. Yep. Self config as ref. Build image cache. Self config. Config. Max width. Deploy images. Deploy theme files. Self config as ref. I have a feeling like I'm making a config file somewhere in here. Config. Okay. Oh, interesting. Hang on. Am I like hitting a dev config? That would be super silly. NeoVim, I don't think I am, but possibly I am. Hang on a second. Um, let's go over here and let's look at, well, there is no dev config in there, so probably that's not it. Oh, no, that's the top level config. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I'm just bouncing around. I'll find it in a minute. Config. Load engine configure engine config path. Active site. We just gotta we just gotta find it. We just gotta find it. Instrument run web server. Server to site config. We're still build. No, it's builder builder. Okay. Fuck. Um cache pages. It like somewhere we're making a config. What's something else that's in the config? Um, that's not in there, fuck. Let me resync this. I like, I don't, I just wanna make sure we're, okay, so that's synced over. Let's look at this file. And just make sure, because well, what might be happening, no, cache is true. Okay, so it's there. So I'm not futzing with that file. C-A-C-H-E, so that should be it. Build CLI and run. Unwrap an error of 123 in here, 123, which is, oh, here we go. I can track it this way. Okay, so load pages from cache which is in builders mod. So load pages from cache. So this cert adjacent source from string page to string. I don't understand why that one would explode. Event, load pages from cache, connection. That's a database connection. Here's a preparing. We're pulling this. Cache buffer insert, self cache buffer insert. What the hell, man? Load templates, self config. 
Somewhere we set, where do we set this config for the templates? Templates, templates, templates. There's all kinds of errors in here, which is cool. I won't have really good errors. First, what I'd like to do is find this. Maybe we're gonna punt on this in a second. Oh wait, hang on. No, it's still the template stuff. Shit. Add template. Wait, hang on. Where are we? Builders, block delimiters. Builder. Builder. Cache. Builder. New from new from site config. What else do we have in here? Okay, so this is coming in from new from site config. So where do we make new from site config? Load templates. Let's look at load templates. Right? So we prep out output doors, then we look output doors, then we load templates. Load templates. It's using Self config as reference under theme dir, right? So this load templates is using it's using the prod template, so that makes sense. So why the fuck is that not working? I do not understand. C A C H E, right? Cache. It's sitting at the top level. We added in the check for that. Oh, you can't comment that shit. Um, that should also break, right? No, command was successful. What? Oh, cannot load config. Ah, here we go. This is what we're looking for. That is actually super helpful because that'll tell me where the actual problem is. So could uh, this needs to probably be in builder. Could not load config, right? Could not load config. It's not in that file. Probably up in here. Missing it. Could not load site config, which is not what we're looking for. We're looking for this. Why? Oh, man. I need better error messages. I need to tell me what file this is having the problem in. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Parser test builder. I don't think that's going to be it, right? That's just, I don't, even, I don't even know what that is. Could not load. Not there. Okay. Could not load config. It's not there. Where? Who? Where are you? Could not load config. No, I'm super confused. Because it should. Why not? Let's get back to the explodey message. Okay, I have an idea. In mod, you can set defaults for stuff, right? I actually, I actually don't know where that's coming from, where config's coming from right now, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but I think we can get, I think we can work around it if we just set a default, which I forget how we do that. Surday default. Um, cash false. 
which should explode because that doesn't exist. But if we come way down here and just do that's in the implementation. This is not the best code in the world. <laughs> I would do things. I would do things differently. But this was the first Rust that I've written. Um, cache false. Or cache. What do we call it? Cache false. Cache false. And then we want to do a boolean. All right. I think if if my understanding is right, this should work. Because all we're doing, like if that default doesn't exist, we're just telling it it's the default or to, to turn the cache off. Place your bets. Hey, it worked. All right, now we need, actually need to use it. So inside here, load pages from cache, load pages from file system. All right, so this is going to get a little funky. Um, I don't totally know if this is going to work, but we're going to figure out. So if, what's my config? Um, builder config. Unwrap cache is true, then do that. Config clone, love it. This this may not actually work, but I think it's gonna work. Cause what I wanna have, so here's, here's what this is in support of, is If I am on, I need the homepage. Um, oh, it's this browser. So let's go find our content. Let's go find the homepage. That, so let's bring this back over now. We're gonna mush this down so we can see it again. Right, ASDF, ASDF. So what should happen if I save this, that should update because we're updating that file. If I just change the template, this is weird. This may be, this may be wrong, but let's see what happens. Um, close that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Example site, theme. This feels like that should have worked. Like I would have sworn that those updated earlier. The result thing, yeah, the result thing takes a little getting used to, but like I really like it now that I've gotten used to it, but it definitely takes some getting used to. Uh, where am I going? Theme, sections, YouTube. I feel like I shouldn't have had to do that. I feel like this was actually working earlier, but now if I just do Wait, what the fuck? Why isn't that updated? That shouldn't be an aside anymore. What's happening? That's going to Neapolitan and I may not have needed to do any of that work a second ago. In fact, I think I'm going to revert that in a second because I, I feel like something else is wrong and I went down the wrong path there for a second. So this is syncing over to Neapolitan GitHub IO's themes. So if we look at that and we come and we look at themes and we go themes and we go sections and we go basic and we go YouTube and we go start and we go here there's our iframe why
is that not? Yeah, un yeah, un yeah. You want to make really sure when you're using unwrap that you know that it's not a bomb, <laughs> and like you don't always know. So, generally speaking, as I move towards production code, I tend to uh, do checks for unwraps and make sure that I really am getting the thing that I want. Because every now and then I'm like, this will be fine, and then it goes kaboom. I understand what's happening now too. I think um, I'm using ASDF there as a thing, but it should be. We can just take that out. That's fine, because what's happening. Yeah, fuck, I think I can revert all that stuff I just did. Shit. Uh, where's Neapolitan? That's kind of weird. I, so I, I do want to add that kind of caching stuff, but I don't think I need to do it right now. That is wrong. That's Neapolitan. Let's look for Neapolitan. Starts with a G. Fuck, man. Neo. Pio. Neapolitan. Here. Okay. Let me back these out for a second, because I think I, I I think I know what's happening. Like, check this out. What's happening? If I'm right, is if I go to full, and I go here, I'm calling the wrong thing. This needs to be YouTube. I copied and pasted. There's our YouTube video. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So I I, I put the, the wrong thing in the wrong place and then went down the wrong track. Uh, like in a multi-threaded server or something, it must be annoying to deal with. I haven't done really anything that's crossed that threshold yet. I haven't done anything that complicated. I've got a little multi-threading thing happening for the front end here because I run I run a web server. Um, like it's what's hosting this and then I also have a watcher that does the updates uh, but I'm not really I'm not doing anything complicated with it basically um, so these are all okay but let's back watch exec Neopon. so we're going to add this we do like this file this is a good file this mod and Mox and Neapolitan. We're gonna take all we're gonna take all those back. Discard changes. Yes, please. Oh, wow, I did it for one file. Discard changes. Discard. I kinda thought I would do it for all of them that I had highlighted. Or that I had whatevered, but it didn't. Uh sweet. So file style theme, that should be okay. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to quit. Uh, like, let's get rid of fucking everything there for a second. Let's quit that. Let's sync. Let's stop this. We're going to sync to Neapolitan. We're going to piss it off a little bit by moving everything around. Move that down. And then here, build and run. So there's building image cache. That's cool. This is what we want to take out. I want to do that building image cache. And there's the SDF. So it, it, it reverted. That's what we wanted to see. Because now what we should be able to do is if I come here and I edit this one, I change this aside back to YouTube. YouTube, T-U-B-E, save. It should, it should update, right? And go. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. It, like, we we're in the right place. I just, I, I got a little confused about where things were. Um, we do, however, want to turn off the image cache right now. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to go down that same path. I, I'm going to do that with much more intention later. Um, I thought that would be a quick, easy, just like throw that in there, but that's like fucking with a config. So we're not going to do that right now. Um, that's going to be in here or your image and it's going to be right here. So if I do this and save this after this builds this, the, after you build the binary, the build process will be really fast right there, right? So this, we're gonna build the whole site here in just a second. So close that, we don't need that. We don't need mocks. Oh God, did that just actually, shit, quit everything. Uh, What did that do? Yeah, I turned that off, those are all fine. Building. 
So this is on the CLI, which we are gonna be messing with. This is gonna be a Neapolitan, the thing. Okay, so there's Reload Browser. So what should happen is if we open up the CLI again and we go into our example site, we go into theme, we go into Neapolitan, we go into sections, we go into basic, we go into the directory tree of depth. We get start, we go here, and I go, there should be an ASDF showing up down here somewhere. But I close that, do we see ASDF? Yep, right there. So if I take this away, at least one of those ASDF is going away. Maybe, yeah, there we go. Because we still have one on the home page. Content, home page, which is right here. If I get rid of that, we get just that, cool. And now we've got the aside happening there for that. So, div class aside, and this is a side section, this becomes a YouTube section. So that should make TVE, and then take that away and then do that. And we should get what we're looking for there, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So here's how, yeah, this is how we do like uh, whatever videos, um, little videos on the thing. I dig it. Uh, let's do this. So let's go back to YouTube for a second. And I want to look up the video that like was like super inspiring to me yesterday. Um, I'm going to watch that one point. It's called death of the follower from South by Southwest. And if I copy this, I can actually pause it or whatever. But if we go to our home, let's bring back over our homepage here. So little space to work with. Should it be home dash page or homepage? All one word. I want to be consistent. Home page. Is that two words or is it one? Well, fuck. Homepage. 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 Okay, Google, change your browser homepage. That has homepage. I think I like two words, homepage from Wikipedia. Wikipedia is gonna be our definitive. We're gonna go with two words. Uh, using mass in the comment section. I don't think I saw that one. Um, That does not ring a bell. I like the idea of that though. That's pretty cool. Because like one of the things that I, of course, am not doing here is comment like this is like it's purely static site, right? So there's no. Uh, <laughs> there's no whatever happening, um, but OK, so here's what here's what we expect, right? So when I save this file, I should see two videos. So one, two, three, save one, two, three, go. There's our two videos. Oh, I did the same. Oh, I hard coded the video. OK, cool, cool, cool. cool. That's fine. Uh, we want to pull this and again i'm going to use a different whatever thing here what's all this sid i don't know what that is we're gonna take that away because really all he wants that title youtube player i'll clean all this stuff up later this will just get us going well full screen So there's our player. And then what we want to be able to do is right here, we're going to go if section flags, flags zero, then we're going to output this uh, end if, and then here we want to do this. So now when we do this, Section, flags, flags, flabs, flab, flabs, zero. Save that. This should change the video. Boom, there's the video. Have static side too, except for front end. Yeah, 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 cool. Um, and that's that's like that's one of the things that I'm really looking forward to. This is like, I I I realized last night when I was kind of going through all my thing that I am only going to focus on the static site and then like 
other things can bolt into it. And like, I'm gonna have a plugin thing that you can do to like add plugins and do whatever. Uh, that's a little bit later because I got to figure out how to securely sandbox that or whatever. But oh, look at this. These are very, <laughs> those are very similar. Um, quick, raise your hand. That's funny. I'll make a funny about that later. Uh, there you go. You come here. E so like I need to do the thing like where we set it up so it like sizes properly and do all the other crap. Like we'll figure all that stuff out. Um, but for now, we can at least put videos in. So let's add this. So let's do temporarily turn off image cache. I do want to make that a config. I was thinking that since uh, your thing said something about a connected web instead of social media or whatever. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, I I really like the idea of websites being the thing instead of us all going to like, like, here's my increasing thought on this, which is the reason we have so many billionaires is because we're feeding them all of our content. I want to stop doing that. I want our content to be our content and live on our sites. And then in order to in order to facilitate that, we like you we need the mechanisms to cross back and forth for the social media stuff, right? For the actual connections, right? So I I do really like the idea of, for example, Mastodon being a, a comment section. Like that's fucking beautiful. That's fucking perfect. I'm really looking forward to reading your post. Because like I was, I was thinking like discuss or whatever. Like there's some other things like out there that are like that, but like if we can throw in like the Mastodon stuff or whatever and like use some activity pub, but like you still like it's still your site, like then like that's cool. You got uh, you got uh, Discord too. Discuss whatever it's called. Um, so like yeah. So like I haven't I haven't touched that part of this yet because I'm still building the actual static part. But like the whole idea right is this is just a template. So in order to be able to implement that, ideally, all I have to do is throw some client side shit on there in the template and then boom, we're going right. Um, that's that would be the goal because and like my server won't set stuff up. So like if there's a server aspect that needs to happen, that has to exist on a Mastodon server or on whatever. But the 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 goal would basically be have the have the primary server, which it sounds like exactly what you're doing. Like if you've got a static set up. And then your front end's doing all the rest of the stuff. That's exactly the paradigm that I'm looking to do. Um, okay, so this is going to be. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to add GIFs in here again. So let's do add YouTube. And then. Uh, I'm just going to say update on that. That's fine. I don't really. I'm not worried too much about this. This will just be an update. That's fine. Um, started GIF. And then what we want to do is add it. And this is added nav or whatever. This is, I'm just going to roll this. This will be fine. Uh, we're going to do starting to add homepage template and usage usag um that's fine i'm going to change the template name over here though because i do want to use home dash page uh yeah this makes up only client side and the server side components only side. yeah that's perfect that's fucking beautiful i love that like because my what one of my key requirements for neapolitan is you can move your site like it's like you can just take your you, like you have your static files and you can move those wherever. And so if you're using extra functionality, it's the responsibility of that extra functionality to still exist. Like that's like the, the Neapolitan server is, is purely static. Anything else that you want to do would be wired up individually just through the templates. So you can move your site or you can change the underlying providers completely as independent things. And like, I really, I, I really like that as the paradigm. Um, I don't think I make that window in smaller. Okay, cool. Boop. 
Uh, okay, so there's YouTube again. We're going to close that. We're going to come down here. We're going to look at wrappers. I'm going to rename this to home dash page. And say renamed. Cool. All right, so now what I want to do is I actually want to play with the homepage a little bit because what I've decided I want to do is code my homepage really is what it amounts to. Um, so let me go, if we're on Neapolitan site, how are we going to do this? So I can take these videos off for a second. And this now, now I've got to get into like the actual design aspect of this, right? And so there's content that I want to have on the homepage, but then there's also going to be, <clears throat> this is tricky. Because realistically, well, so the, I'm in a quandary here because my site, my alanwsmith.com site is going to be the like the showcase or whatever it's gonna be the pitch right so i need to design for it and that's gonna mean i need to change the way that this site works a little bit and by a little bit i mean like a whole lot um shit like the, like they're really different sites is the problem Uh, or there's one sort of server side component, but that does not technically need to be a server side, but it ports, uh, it posts on mass on link to the post when posted and saves the ID for that pass together to the site post and the get, oh, it needs to promise. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. And like, so you could like my, my primary goal with this is the base is what you can do. If you want to add more shit to it, and like if you want to if you want to throw stuff in there that actually does server side stuff, cool. But there is zero requirement for it. Like it is it's it is purely going to build a static site for you, but then you have control of the template, so you can do whatever you want to with it. So if you add server side components, or if you add server side capability, you can just update your templates to talk to that server side capability and like boom, you're done. Bob's your uncle, as they say. I can run a GitHub action, but I have it on Pi. Oh sleek. All right, so design. Hmm. Shit. Now I got to figure out how to do this. Um, cuz here's here's the goal. Oh, it sucks that I have to do these. As their own things. Am I, I might be at the point where I have to break this up, actually. Which is going to be a little tricky. But I think, I think we may be there. Am I syncing with delete? I think I am. All right, I got to think about how to do this. Yeah, I'm syncing with delete. So I'm just copying that thing straight in. How do we do that? Shit. I don't have a good way to do that. I don't think. Or I can't think of a good way to do that. Oh, wait, maybe I can. We can just make it its own theme. And like, it's okay. There'll be two different themes in there for to start with. That's absolutely fine. Again, like I'm, I'm considering this still like work in progress stuff. So the fact that things are going to move around and be in like different places is fine. Um, what's the, what's the best way to do this? Well, okay, what we could do 
is this a we're going to add um www.neopoligen.com dash overrides slash enter go right so there's that new directory and then what we can do let's put a readme in here Sure, why not? Uh, this directory gets synced to documents neo p o l i g n neo p o l i g n dot github dot i o. I do want to move off of that after the main. After the main uh, themes, neo p o l i g n dash v zero dot one dot zero theme. This is done. We're doing this. I'm doing this. We're doing. I'm doing this. Ugh. The reason for that is that right now. Is it right now everything is coming off the N-E-O-P-O-L-I-R-G-E-N, off the N-E-O-P-O-L-I-G-E-N V0.1.0 theme to start with as we build it out. Once it's solid and... and the sync process will delete the anything it points to to for the time being. Hey, Ninja, what's up? Welcome in. How are you? Happy Friday. Okay. Cool. So here's now that we need to do is we need to make that work. Right? Cause I, so here's, here's the goal is, is it Saturday? Oh shit, shit, shit. Right, right. Time zones. Fuck. I, okay. I lost track of days, um, this past week. So like I see a therapist and I see a therapist on Wednesday and I had to cancel the appointment this week. So I lost track of days because that's like my marker of when a week is. So for a second, I literally thought, oh shit, is today actually Saturday? Uh, but it is for you, it is not yet for me. So like, we're cool, I got it. But that was that was a legitimate, like, oh shit, there moment for a second. Welcome to Saturday, I hope you're having a good one. I hope, I hope, you're, I hope you're having a good evening. Or, yeah, I would still call it an evening, assuming you're still up. Um, but let's look at this now, right? Oh God. <laughs> All right, I have to make this bigger for a moment. And then run this over here just so I can see some shit at the minute. Hey, Dirt. Uh, I wrote the CLI table stuff. Right now, I'm at 664 lines with a lot of com uh, comments. Awesome. Uh, my marker of weeks is when I go to VR chat meet uh, about Vor. And before that, it used to be my racist brother visiting. Oh, well. I hope I hope the reason it used to be because your racist brother was visiting is because he's no longer racist. That would be cool. When he says optimistically. <laughs> um, OK, this fuck. If we change this. Oh, OK, yeah. Well, one can hope. So here's 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 my thing. Oh, my God. I really, one of the reasons, and this is one of those like, hi, I'm like, I think they call it Pollyanna or whatever, but like, here's my theory. If we can get racist brothers, uncles, assholes, whoever, like 
daughters, like every, like anybody can be racist, sure, whatever. But like, if we can get people who have that tendency making more stuff, assuming they're not yet making more stuff, and assuming they're not making stuff, right? Because any, like anybody can make things. But like, if if somebody is racist and they aren't a maker of things, and we can get them making some stuff, I. I, I believe in my fucking soul that over time they will become less asshole because I don't believe you can, I don't believe you can exist doing creative work without becoming more empathetic. And like, I, like, so if, and like, if we can get, if, if like, if, if we can like get people like making a website and like something that they fucking enjoy and they can go out and they can go look and like do all the things, then like that would be fucking cool as shit. Quite sure after. Yeah. And like, I get it, man. Like fucked. Like I, I, I was in a gig where I was allowed to do most anything that I wanted to most of the time and nobody really fucked with me. I didn't, but I still wasn't able to do like the stuff that I really wanted to do. Like the, this like build this thing or whatever. I, I can't imagine how crushing it would be to not be able to to express myself and then yeah okay here's i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna quibble with the way that you phrase that for a second because you say when someone has like no creativity it's easier for them to turn toxic i don't believe that there are people like uh, sir there's there's like always the outliers but if we take the like the super outliers out of there i think everybody has the capability for creativity i just don't think they have outlets and one of my goals with this and a primary goal of this is to give them. Yeah. More people talking. Like, yeah. Yeah. You, it, like you're just you're like, you're frustrated. Like, like, I don't know, man, if we can, if we can just make that shit happen, I swear to God, it's going to make us, it, it's not going to make, it's not going to fix everybody, but collectively, I think we're going to be less pissed at people. Um, just feel like nervous. was a better at separating work from the rest of life. Interesting. Um, could be. But like, I still think, I still think if you, I still think if you're not satisfied, yeah, but like if, if all you're doing is a day job and you don't have joy in your life and, and one of the ways that you can get joy is from creativity. Like if you're not, if you, if you are in, if you're just in a rut and you have no life doing stuff, I believe in my heart that if you get doing creative stuff, your life will get better and you'll be less of an asshole. Um, yeah, like those Yeah, exactly. And like, I, and so I'm like, we're gonna eighty twenty this, right? Because like, but I, so I'm with you on that. But as a general, like, guideline rule of thumb, like the eighty twenty thing, I, my posit is that more people doing, like, collectively, more people doing more creative stuff means less assholes. Like, total, like, if you just do numbers, to numbers, right? There will still be assholes, but like. If more like here's I guess here's the here's the real I'm trying to refine this in my brain right now. Like if you add a thousand people doing more creative work, almost all of them are either going to be the same level of asshole or less asshole doing creative work. I don't believe is going to make it like jump up dramatically. Um, Could be dropping frames. I think I am dropping some frames. I'm at point five percent. So, yeah, maybe a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't fuck up. But yeah, so that, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm working on this because I, I I believe that like this stuff is is important. Yeah, if it if it really fucks up, I may have to stop. But it looks like it's okay now. So hopefully it's alive again. Yeah, it's not red anymore, which is a good sign. Okay, cool. Whatever you get, to, uh, but uh, yeah. So hopefully that. I mean, I, one, I don't know if that's true or not. But I am going to do my damnedest to find out if that's true. Like, I, that is my hypothesis. I am going to test that hypothesis in the best way that I can, which is making this thing and, and presenting it to the world. And so with luck, it will make the world a little bit of a better place. Right. Um, which is it's kind of a weird thing to say out loud. But like that's that is part of the goal. Right. Um, can I just do ands right here and copy this? Uh, paste. And then we want to do that 
And it makes your life better. Yeah. And also like if you make something and like, so, and like if you make something that somebody, okay, fuck it, man. Like I fucking, I, this video is in my head. Um, not that video, this video, what the fuck is it? This video. I don't know why I timed in two seconds. You stay there. Like this is, so this is a CEO of Patreon and like his, I was talking with somebody about this last night and like his gig is very much like the presentation he makes here is a presentation he has to make here. But I also believe it. Like he's in a business. He's like running a, a Patreon, like giant business or whatever. But he's talking about making art. And even though he's talking about making art in the in the context of being a CEO of a business that like is based off of a, the, the Patreon model or the, the patron model or whatever, like, yeah. It's just it's a good video to watch, especially towards the end. Like I, I, I cried maybe three times during this video, possibly more. Um, and then decided what I was gonna do with my life after that. Um, regarding the chat and the overlay, isn't opt optional? Um, if so, shouldn't non subs be opt and subs be user? You know, I have not thought through that. All I know is I'm root user opt. Huh, I don't know. Good question. <laughs> um Yeah, I, I like I like the I like the thought. I, I can't change it. It's not my code. But yeah, that video, I really like that video is the long short of it. Um and I like it's cool. I dig it a lot. Uh alright, let's see if we can actually make this thing sync up. So delete. Alright, we wanna not delete on this. We want to AV it. I think I have to do something different. I don't think I can do ands here. I think I have to do um, the other one. This has I remember. Yeah. Well, and like, there's also, if I remember right, like Linux directory structures are a little bit fluid too, in terms of like different vendors do things slightly differently. So like opt means one thing with somebody and something else with somebody else. Um. Okay, so this is gonna be what do we call this? Dub 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 dot n e o p o l i g n dot com dash override singular or plural? Who remembers? I don't. God damn it! No, you. Eh. Overrides plural. Ah, I would have guessed that. Overrides, and we want that to just go straight to the. Ooh, shit. themes. No, Neapolitan overrides. Wait, is that going to work? That's not going to work. Fuck. Hmm. Not really opt as an optional. More like bundled add on patches, not for your standard package. Optional. Oh, okay, gotcha. Thank you. Um. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, let me, I, I need to think through this for a second because it's like directory path shit in a weird place and it's like messing with me. Oh, so more like self-contained. Gotcha. Okay, I am going to build Music Sync 2 just so y'all can listen to the same music as me. Like, uh, Fountains of Wayne, St uh, Stacy's mom's on right now. That's just a joyful little bop. Um, okay, so this is going into Neapolitan 1. And we're syncing that into theme. And then what we want to do is go into Neapolitan overrides. Slash. Oh, shit. Whoops. Don't do that. And that goes into N-E-O-P-O-L-I-G-N-V 0.1.0 because that's the theme that we're using. There's no way this works on the first time. Sync, Neapolitan, templates, Neapolitan. Okay, so um, it should be blank. Yes, it's more of a place for. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, you're doing the thing. Um, okay, my windows are all completely out of my head right now in terms of what's where. So let's do this.
all the script, what actually needs to change here? What needs to change here is pages. Oh, I need to rename that to home dash page. Whoops. Ah, rename. So if this works the way that I hope this works, if I add a pages directory here with home dash page and then, oh shit. Um, I forget what the file path in there is. Pages, homepage, publish NeoJ. If I do P-U-B-L-I-S-H-E-D, NeoJ, enter. And we do blah and save that. Hey, fuck me, it worked. That may have been really loud in the mic. Sorry about that. Also, it's super fucking bright. Um, so check this out. Oh my God, that, it, that might've just worked the first time, which would be, you know, super cool. I'm excited about things. Oh God, uh, G -G -Y -G. Uh, close that, do this, do this. If I paste that now and we go look at Chrome again, for Firefox again, whatever browser is, there we go. Cool. I think we have... Yo, I'm I'm counting that as fucking first try. On that, I'm t I'm only talking about the R sync and the directory structure. All the other shit before then, yeah, whatever. But like, that I we got the R sync command right. We put the directory in the right place. The file fucking went. That's you, you goddamn right. That's first try. Yeah, get there. Um. Uh, let's see. Chapter up on have uh video codecs. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I think some of that stuff is 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 a little bit independent, is my understanding about it. Also, ads coming up in a minute. Sorry about that. I'm about to back out of the uh, affiliate program, and that sh I think that means that you all won't get at least as many ads, if not any ads, um, for those of you who get ads. Um, so just FYI, I'm backing out of that because I would I would I would rather not make the little bits of money that I make off of that and have you all not see ads. Right, so like we're to do that. I gotta figure it out, but like we're doing it. Um Hey Ferris, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, appreciate you. That's what gives us these points. Um yeah, so all the points and stuff like that that's all gonna go away. But like I think that's a fair trade off. You have sixty six thousand points. Oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> um I uh fuck, I don't know what to do about that. Are you willing to sacrifice your 66,000 points for the for chat to not see ads? I'll ask the question that way. You may have been in an ad while that was happening because I just saw the ads just flipped. Um, but whatever. Um, this is cool. Okay, 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 cool. We're set up now. We can do this. So let me save this shit. This is all I can spend points on anyways. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I have, yeah, I have everything turned off because my bot broke. Um... And like amusingly, if you do like head white or whatever, like this doesn't cost points. Um, body, whatever, blue. Uh, like the stuff that I have, and actually I kind of like that, right? Like just come in, do the things. Um, but we could set something up where like, I don't know. I, actually, I'm not gonna spend time building a bot. Like I, I love the idea of building a bot, but like I wanna build this other thing first. Uh, and I think it's more important for the world that we do that and not fuck around with bots. As much fun as that actually is. Uh, okay, let's look at this. Um, boo -doo -boo -doo -doo -doo. So added, added template sync override for neo p o l i g e n. Yeah, let's just do dub 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 dot. Actually, it's neo p o l i g e n dot github dot io right now. Uh, <laughs> the water is one thing you can't change. Wait, or can you? Wait, that didn't change, did it? I'm pretty sure you can't change it because JD keeps trying to make it yellow to look like I'm sitting in P. I, I don't think that changes. I think you can do keys. I think you can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I intentionally didn't do that because I knew some motherfucker out there would be like, oh, look, you're sitting in yellow, whatever. Uh, what's the bear honey? Oh, OK. I yeah. Um, that should have worked. Why didn't that work? Oh, also, it may have broken. Head. Uh, golden. 
rod. It broke. Shit. Okay. Um. If if I don't have I don't have air handling on it quite right, so like it can break. That may fix it. I'm not totally sure. Head lime green. Let me. I gotta refresh it. Hang on a second. Refresh. Try head lime green again. See what happens. Uh, okay, this is very cool though. Like we're in pretty good shape here. So this is sinking. So that's cool. I'm gonna move that all the way over and that's okay because we need to bring this back. Yeah, there you go, lime green. Okay. Oh, there it went. Oh yeah, yeah. so I think maybe the water threw it. I'm not really sure why it broke. I don't remember there. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe it's not a hashtag. Maybe you can only do, maybe don't do the hashtag. If you do the numbers, I'll bet that broke it again. Try something else and I'll bet it doesn't change. I'll, I'll reset it once, but it, I'm not, I don't want to keep fucking with that. Um, no, I think, I think the hashtag might've broken it. And so nothing else after that is going to fire. Uh, Cause it's not, it's not particularly well coded uh, for air handling. Um, okay. So here's, Here's the trick with this is this is not the site. Shit. Oh, we can do the dev site. We got a dev site. That's the entire purpose of the dev site, right? So quit all this shit. And then we want to go. Um, no, we want to stay here. So ENV. Hmm, breaks after hex. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll fix it one more time. Uh, but don't don't send hex codes. Um, and then give me a second to refresh over here. Actually, I'm curious in one second to test this as soon as I can get it to refresh. Um, if you do a value without an actual hex code, what happens? Nope, still jacked. Head blue. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, whatever. Don't do hex codes. Refresh last time. Cool. Talking. Typing. Everybody going. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Don't do hex codes. Um, so over here, what we want to do is close this. We're going to go NV. We're going to go look at library. We're going to look at application. Application. Nope. Apple application. Support. Neapolitan. Config. JSON. And then what we want to do is just go to example site, right? That's the whole purpose of that. And then here, we can get rid of this. So we've got that override in there. Could be an automatic, uh, if I'm not in the right. Oh yeah, yeah, no, like I can totally fix it. Like I just have, like we did it beef. <laughs> I think I did break it again, but whatever. Um, I just haven't put any air handling in it. I haven't gone back and looked at it cause it's not, it's like super far down the priority list. Um, save that, close that. If we look now here and we reset this, we should see the example site. There we go, sweet. Now we can actually do some building stuff. So let's go here to example site, LS, NV here, and let's look at content. And now we can start making some shit. Um, oh, but we need to sync now this to example site. See, like I'm still in dev mode with this, so there's a bunch of like fiddly bits that have to happen. Oh, I don't have the example site up there, motherfucker. Um, copy sync neo template AWS to sync neo templates example site. Go NV to sync neo example site, and then here, whoops, ran out of room again. Boop 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 boop. boop. Um. And now if we sync, this may, um, this may flashbang in a second. Okay, so that's going. So we should be able to stick you over there. And if we run this, cool. We're live, love it. 
Um, all right, great. Now I can actually mess with stuff. Uh, oh yeah, the other one, I'm just gonna put this one here too. I, I've never seen uh, the Matildas or like the Fabulous Matildas or something like that. I don't remember what it's called, Matilda the Musical. But like the other one that was really fun for me was like this video. Uh, like revolting children. Like when it's, it's a really good video. I liked it a lot. Uh, and also it's like one of those, holy shit, these kids are way better dancers than me by about a thousand fold. Um, and two, I really like the idea of like, ah, the kids are gonna be okay. Like we're teaching, we're teaching. Like, I like the idea that kids are going to watch that fucking video and get the idea of revolution in their head. Like that's pretty fucking cool. Viva la revolution or whatever. Uh, content homepage. What am I on right now? This is the sample site. Welcome to Neapolitan. This is some test. CLI. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Is this different? Stand by. He's old. LS. Um, sync example site for dev is a different thing. So RM sync Neo template example, but we want to run sync. Uh, let's look at it first. Sync example site for dev. And I think this does the full example site from example site. Yeah, so that actually does the content too. Okay, cool. So this is in the right place. Sync, example site, go. And now that's awesome because I can get rid of this. I don't know what that is. Bye-bye. Uh, Let's just close that for now. And okay, so we're here, we're loaded, we're live. Uh, let's just do a standard is this thing on and see what happens. Whoops. It helps if we save it. And if we save it, it should say, is this thing on right there? Perfect. Okay, cool. Now we actually get to design the site a little bit. Um, so here's, here's what I'm trying to roll through in my head, which is what I want the design to be. And I had a design a while ago where it was like all these little blocks that look kind of like seed packages. Um, and, and I think I kind of want to do a similar thing. And so the first thing we're going to start with, let's just make a new section. And what do we want to call this? Um, blurb? No, blurb is a, actually a, a thing that we're going to use. Um, we'll just call it homepage. Or no, what do we want to call the uh, preview. Yeah, let's call it preview. And then we're going to do title is going to be this is a preview. And then we can do this is some text. And we'll just start with that. And so right now, going to play a game. Yeah, cool. See you, Ellie. Have a good one. Um, Right now, the way that this works is if you send something to Neapolitan that it doesn't know, it just makes it an unknown section. But we're going to do is make it know what that is. And we're going to do a couple things when we do that. The first thing we're going to do is in our sections, we're going to do basic and we're going to add preview start default NeoJ. And then we're going to do, this is preview, save that. We need to add three different things here. And we're going to do full default NeoJ, NeoJ. And I think this, let's just go ahead and add the other one here. Start, no, end, end, default NeoJ. Uh, and for end, we're going to go up here, we're going to grab the end of a side and close that. And then we're going to go back to, where'd our end go? Whoops, maybe we didn't open it. Hey, you open save this is cool that's all fine and then let's go back up to a side again just the reason i'm using that one is because it's the first one and i think i've got it set up so close that and if we go down to start again no 
we go down to full paste that and this needs to go to preview preview save uh and then if we go close that and if we close that and if we go here and we go down to start and we pull this close that here's preview this is default and if we save this here there's an aside which is not really what this is right because this is a preview so here's a side and we want this as a preview section. Ooh, do you want as a preview section? Yes, I think we do. Uh, we're just gonna leave it like that for now. Uh, we're gonna get rid of a side. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this and this, and we should just see the text show up there, right? So there's the text. This is some text, this is some text. Why are we seeing it twice? That seems weird. Um, why are we seeing it twice? We're definitely seeing it twice. What the fuck? Preview section, all content, content blocks. Output section. This is an aside. Oh, did I just fuck up and do the wrong one? That's right. Full preview start. End. For children, sex for ch section children. Uh, I'm confused. I'm very confused. And what happens if we put something there? Ellen shows up once. So why are you showing up twice? For section of children, output section, page, page ID. Um, oh, you know what I could do? I could actually start flipping this over to the new page thing, too. We'll do that in a second. I'll figure out what this is duplicating first. What the hell, man? Uh, subsections, content, all blocks. And then we... Is it end? Save. That didn't show up. Save. Oh, I know what's happening. Maybe. No, output section. Hang on, something's weird. Restart everything. Nope, I didn't fix it. Uh, no idea. Also, my music just got like really slow. Need to speed it up a little bit. You can't hear that. Eventually, every time I look at the stream and read Neo J, I think Neo Four J. Oh yeah, Neo Four J. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. So it's it's Neopolygon Genja. I just needed a different extension because I like um, actual Genja looks like this. And I don't like that. Like the squigglies are harder for me to read than squares. Um, so like this is what Jinja, regular Jinja would use. And this is what I'm using. I changed the tokens. Um, so I needed a new file format or a new file extension. Uh, and we went with NeoJ. Uh, okay. So this is weird. Outer string full. We're going to preview. We're going to start default. If I save that right there, where does that go? It goes at the end of that. So it's in start default. That makes sense. And then here we're going to see start default. Why? Neapolitan fortune. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I like it. I'm not going to add the four in there. Though. That'd be super fucking confusing. I love it though. I might go ahead and switch this and just punt on this. In fact, I am going to do that. I don't want to, I don't necessarily want to solve for this because we need to do something different anyways. Let me just close all these for a second because I'm getting confused about where things are because I don't have a lot of screen real estate to play with. Um, preview. This is some text. This is a preview. ASDF. It's definitely duplicating. But let's do this for a second. Aside. I want to actually make it a side. Is a side duplicating? A side is duplicating. What the hell, man? Paragraph. Start. Subsections in section. Oh, I think it's what's up. That's different, isn't it? Start. Boop. For children. Page. Do that. See if that doesn't fix that. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. Uh, we're still going to change it, but 
if we can get this at least working right. Uh, so paste that. Oh god, that was wrong. Um, where'd it go? Boop. Nope. 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 Yep. Not a lot of room here. S aside. End default. I need to check that in a second. This is start of preview. Which is this. That'll work. And now if we go to the home page and we do this to preview, we should only see it show up once. It only shows up once. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Now what we need to do is design this a little bit. Because what I want to have... What I want to do is this. Um, div, div. Uh, but we need this to be a uh, wrapping div. And we're going to class is going to be, um, what do we want to call this? Preview wrapper, right? And then we're going to close this div down here. And what that should do is let us do this for a second. Um, this is a preview. This So like, I'm just going to do alpha here. And then we're going to do y for j. Whoops. Y 4J, uh, close this, do this, and we're gonna do Bravo here. So these should stack on top of each other right now. Alpha Bravo. But if we go look at our CSS file up here, uh, somewhere, uh, files, styles, theme CSS. Uh, if we come down here and look at preview, PRE, pre, PR, uh, here seems like a good place. Preview wrapper. So the first thing we wanna do is just do background color blue just to make sure it shows up cool and then what we can do is this uh display uh, flex no grid can you do dynamic grid columns like how do you do i'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about too much about this right now but grid template or do we just do Flexbox? No, because I want them all to be the same size. Anybody know CSS? That should put them side by side. Okay, cool. Oh, rip. It's doing... Repeat autofill. Sweet. Oh, do you, wait, for template columns like this? Auto fill. Min max. Oh, you nail it. Nice. Um, auto fill column min max 200. Actually, I can just do one FR like Oh, well, does it have, what happens if I just do autofill? Like, because I, they all need to be the same size. That didn't work. Uh, min, max. Oh, min, max, right. 200 pixels as a minimum. I follow, I follow, I follow, I follow. 684 lines in total. I love it. Oops, sorry about the flashbang. I don't know why that happened. We have auto dash fill. Not autofill. Gotcha. There it goes. Perfect. Love it. Thank you kindly. All right. I got to figure out what the flow is flipping this off here. Um, and that's because we're in preview wrapper. So we need to go look at preview wrapper start. I do want to, I do want to switch this to the other way that we're going to do this in a second, but we want to fix this first. So this is preview. This has a flow on it. No, it doesn't. What the fuck? Preview section, adder string. Wait, what? Oh, it's preview wrapper. Wait. Oh, unknown section. Class preview wrapper. Wait a minute. What? Is div not a thing yet? Have I really not done divs yet? Oh my God, I haven't done divs yet. Ha! 
Okay. Well, let's add those. Div start default NeoJ. And then add full default NeoJ. And then add end default NeoJ. Cool. And then you know what I'm gonna do for a second is we're gonna come over here and ready to go uh bang code. I just said that out loud for the first time in my life. Oh, why are you pissed? Where are you looking at? Why didn't that work? There we go. Open full. Why is it not giving me the folder? Oh, because I'm opening the file. I got it. Uh, can you do this? Yeah, worked. Cool. Don't know why it's in settings. Don't know why it's doing whatever those things are. Okay, cool. So we can fix these real quick. Inside basic. Okay, I'm going to back this up for a split second. We're going to go look at the way that a side works. We're going to get a side the way that we want it, and then we're going to copy a side into everything else. So the big difference that I want to make here is what? This is different than I was expecting. Oh, it's an in section. Do we only need to change that in one place? Shit, where did I fix this? Because uh, here's here's the deal. Um, if we look at the theme, we have this output section, and I've got output section v2. And the difference is, in the first version, I'm just passing a page ID. I pass a site object, a page ID, and then the individual sections. But I've realized I need to have access to the full page in some of the sections to do some referencing stuff. So I'm going to pass the site object, an actual page object, instead of just the ID and then the section. So I got to figure out where that output V2 comes from. Um, and it's possible. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to break the entire site right now is what's about to happen. And we're going to roll with it. There it is. OK, let's just YOLO this. So this is coming in with section output section V2 page save it's gonna break everything in a second maybe I don't know why that didn't break everything for section and pages section there's a CSS loader oh it's in pages home page published section. Here's where we're going to do it right here. Copy code. I got it. Okay. This is going to break everything. But oh, if we're going to break everything, we might as well just fucking put it in the right place, right? All right, we're going to take that out. Here's the other trick. I, I should really be testing this. I'm not going to test it right now. I don't want to write the tests. We'll come back and do those later. Um, I'm just going to look at it and eyeball it. And then we'll put the tests in for real. Like, there's still erroring, so I'll know that we I'm just not going to worry about the fact that they're erroring. But I want this to now be this. This is going to cause a lot of pain, I think, but maybe not as much as it could. Um, unexpected identifier. That's because we don't have a comma there. Okay, cool. That didn't actually explode anything, which is really neat. And in section goes to here and then inside theme I just want this to be page and we're gonna get rid of this output span eventually is gonna go to page as well debug section page these are all gonna come in as page uh, this is gonna be a bug hunt for a minute but I'm okay with it because I need like I need to have access to the page and not just the ID there. So cool. Uh, where is ID showing up there? That's a blessing there. OK, I expect. Uh, how's that working? <laughs> Refresh. I am super surprised that that's working.
I mean, I'm cool with it. All right, you do you, bitch. I love it. Uh, starting to move to sending page objects. Objects. I'm in the wrong editor. There we go. Okay. Uh, sweet. So then in sections, basic, none of this should need to change, but we're going to get a side working properly to start with. So over here, close that. Publish, we're gonna close out. I'm just gonna close a bunch of, I'm just gonna quit fucking everything right now because I can't see what's happening on this small ass. Like, I am not working with a lot of screen real estate right now, folks. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tight in here. Example site, content, homepage. Here's our div, here's our class preview wrapper. And here's a preview inside of it, which we can actually, why don't we do this? Uh, well, uh, fuck that. Okay, hang on. Do that. Is this thing on? Okay, so we're seeing... We're not seeing our Alpha and our Bravo. We're getting the, this thing on, so that's cool. But we're not seeing this. Okay, cool. I'll check this out in just a second. Um, if we... So let's add an aside up here, right? Because we want to get a side working. This is an aside. Uh, Save. I don't think that's going to show up. Oh, it did. Well, cool. Even better. Uh, themes. That's not themes. That's source. Neapolitan. Sections. Basic. Aside. Start. Default. So is anything in here doing page? No. Okay, cool. Perfect. So that's working. And full is just calling aside, right? Yep, cool. And close that. So if that's working, why isn't preview working? Let's go look at preview for a second. Preview's right down here. We're going to look at start and preview and default. And that's going to all content blocks. Um, let's look at that as a subsection and see what's up here. So content block all. There's page ID. There's the problem. Okay, so if we fix this. Didn't work. Uh, ID. Save. Nope. Content skip one needs to be page and close that and then go look at end section where I fix that. So why aren't we seeing our previews? Let me just bounce this for a second and roll through here. That's still not showing up. Okay, 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 that's fine. Close everything again for a second. Um, come back up here and look at preview for real this time. So here's preview start and let's go, this is preview, right? That didn't show up. Okay, why didn't that show up? Preview. Oh, we still don't have div happening. That's probably why. Let's fix div. Right? Because we're that's really where we're starting. Uh, do we do div yet? Or div, right? Start, default. There's nothing in div. Oh, that's why. Because there's nothing fucking in there. Rip. YG, close that. Uh, go down here to div, start, paste there. That is going to be a div section. Whoops, undo. Da -da 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 -da. Div section. Cool. Pull the strings. We're going to drop a side. We're going to drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Uh, section blocks. That should all be fine. Um, a lot of duplication happens here uh, in the early parts of this, which is cool. It's fine. Uh, this, this, YG. Close that. Um, we can actually come over here. Oh, did I just delete that file? Oh, how the fuck did I do that? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit a hotkey that I didn't know existed and deleted a file. Huh, well, that was unfortunate. Why don't you just come back to life? I've I have no idea how that happened. That's super weird. Uh and I'm freaked out. Okay. Paste that. This goes into div. Div save that. Whoops. I'm I'm working like 1% faster than I should be working right now. And I it's occasionally, you know, causing issues. But like I'm in a good mood. We're doing the thing. So cool. Close that, close that. I I, I would like to figure out how to delete files from there. That's cool. Um 
like I sorry, I know a different way to delete files. I would like to figure out what I did so that I can not do that again. Or if I do, how to undo it. So there's page ID, here's full. That doesn't have anything in there that we need. This is here, this is here. That doesn't have ID in it. Okay, so there are our error. Perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. Boop. Love it. Now, there is something that we do need to do here, which is this. So inside div, so let's just add these to start with. Um, I'm gonna call this added basic div and preview. Added basic div and preview. Go. Um, seems like D, uh, D, D. No, I don't think that's it. Well, I, so I know I can do like mark and then trash and then it asks me which we don't want to do, so I'm going to unmark it. But like, I don't think I hit an M and a T and a Y at the same time there. Um, but no, no telling. Um, I was typing very fast and something happened. <laughs> uh, so if we look at div, I actually want to have at the start in here, div section needs to have a flow in it. That's gonna mess this up just a little bit because the flow works by um, looking at anything that's not the first child, it adds a little bit of margin to it. And if you're not in a grid, uh, here, let's pull this up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oop, so we're gonna go here, where's our content? Content, homepage. If I take off the upper and we stack things, that gives us this margin for everything after the first one, which is exactly what we want to have. But if I'm here, I don't want that flow to show up. So what we need to do is we need to add no flow. And the way that we're going to add that is we're going to come back down here and inside our, what am I looking for? Sections inside div, inside start, inside here. Uh, what we want to do is Ooh, I can actually pass the section. Section classes. Nah, I don't want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the conditional here. If uh, no flow in section flags. And if. And we're going to put our else here. So if no flow is there, we don't want to have a flow. I, like we can optimize this a little bit at some point. But now what it should be able to do is these are like lined up. But if I go back here and I turn off this no flow, that's going to kick down a little bit, right? Because it's sending in the flow. So that's how we're changing the thing, whatever. Uh, you can also use the terminal make the repeat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, with the brackets around it. I didn't know that. That's cool. Huh. That's really cool. I didn't know that. My only problem is I don't actually know where I am in the directory tree right now. Um, so I'd have to figure out, I'm in CLI, I'd have to like walk it down or whatever, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, and did the content of the connection. Oh yeah, 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 that's a good call. Totally. Uh, I was just trying to get it to work first and then we can do that. Um, Cause I don't have, like eventually I'll make an LSP for this and we'll have like auto formatting and all the things. Um, a bunch of this stuff is not well done in that regard because it we haven't, like there's no LSP sitting behind it yet. And that would be cool and all. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, uh, I hear the bells by Mike Doherty. Doherty? I don't know how to say the name. Um, it's just a fucking good song. I'm gonna do music sync at some point. It's gonna be awesome. I'm in a really good mood, folks. It's not. I hope you're having even partially as good a day as I'm having because it's a good day for me, and I hope that it is working with you in the same way. And if not, I hope you, I can give you some vibes. Let's see. Uh, zip this down. And okay, so we have. That's the basis of our preview, right? Everything here is cool. That's no flow. So that added no flow. Added no flow, right? And then on that, oh, any chance? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna break a point. We can do that. Um, bear with me one second. As I move them to a place that I can see them. Uh, probably make this bigger. 
Oh, that looks great. Yeah. How many how many lines of code did you say that was? Six hundred and something something. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that a lot. 684. Love it. GG. How are you testing that? Are you just like eyeballing it or do you have like tests doing? A project learns like, oh, nice. <laughs> Compare notes. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I've done only a little bit. I was using on my this line. I did a little bit of spacing one time to figure out like how does uh, right align something over here. And that's the only thing I've done, like spacing wise. Um, table right, Nancy color shots. Nice. Uh, okay, cool. But check this out. We're in, we're in really good shape here. And this, this is actually going to be a pretty interesting example of what you can do with the apology. So like all the shit that we just did was just like the base setup. Like I had to add a couple things in here. Oh, I do want to add, where do I want to put this? Fuck. Um, Let's go look at documents, Neapolitan. I need to like I need to start getting at the point where I'm looking at uh, documentation stuff, right? So envy this. Uh, I think I have documentation spans. Let's add a new file in here, which is like to do stuff.neo. And then um, I'm just gonna make a new post here. And this is gonna be uh documentation to add and then we're going to do uh, make this a list and we'll do like uh, whoops two dashes and then dash dash space no flow as an example of turning off the flow class in the div sections save whoops save uh, that's all fine close that quit that and then get rid of there cool uh all right i don't i, I don't believe i i don't believe you're dumb and i'm actually i'm gonna I ask you not to like say that you're dumb in chat uh like I lo I I can appreciate being self-deprecating and doing the thing, but like I I'm I'm wary of that turning toxic without realizing it's turning toxic either for other people or for yourself. So you you may say like I don't understand it yet. Like that's cool, whatever. But like yeah, no 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 dumbs in here. Like you're at six hundred and fucking eighty four lines of whatever the hell that stuff is. So like there's not a dumb happening. You maybe just don't have the experience yet. All right. Um, try learning Rust and Zig, both languages I d didn't have. Yeah, well, it took me like four times to figure out Rust. Uh, I haven't tried Zig yet. Um, so like, it's not, it is not a matter of dumb. It's a matter of if we've put in enough effort to learn the thing. Like if you, like it's, it is all addressable. It is all something we can do. Bar checker in life not to kill you. Yeah, no, that's, that's fucking a thing. Like, I mean, I've, I've been doing Rust for over two years now and it still fucks me up. So like, it's a thing. <laughs> Um, without a, without a doubt. Uh, okay. So let's run this now. Uh, I can pull this aside, right? Cause we don't need that anymore. And, uh, <laughs> um, we've got our div. So here's what I want to do. I want this to be how we're going to design the homepage, right? And I'm really cool with this because it's going to be a little bit of a, uh, example of how this stuff is just going to work in general. Also, Rekt, again, thank you for the CSS stuff for the 200. That's perfect. Like, that's exactly what I want to have happen um, with the autofill. That's really good note. So I'm going to make a note on that. CSS, um, what do we want to call this? We want to call this make a grid with uh, an arbitrary A-R-B-I-T-R-A-R-Y Maybe, I don't know. Um, 
So we're gonna do this. So check this out here. Oh, I'm not on the main site right now. That's okay. Um, actually, you know what? Fuck that. We're gonna do this. This is here's here's the way that I want this stuff to work, right? So we're gonna go back over here for a second. This is gonna take a second to build, right? Because it's the longer site. We haven't optimized it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, documents, Neapolitan. Nope. Uh, NV into library application supports. Eventually, we're gonna have a, 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 a better way to do this. Neapolitan config JSON, like fucked if we want to have actual people doing that, right? And then take that one out. So if I close this and do this and we rebuild here and we actually do CLI, we should see the main site. And then what we should be able to do is make a CSS grid with an A-R-B-I-R-B-I-T-R-A-R-A number of columns. No idea if that's how you spell it because my spell check doesn't work here. Yes. Uh, so check this out. Um, what I should be able to do, I'm gonna move this to a draft. DRFT doesn't really matter. It actually does need to be a word draft though. Uh, if I pull this value and I go back over here and we look at 1989, which by the way is uh, because that's when Tim Berners-Lee made the web, um, there's our page. So this doesn't reload super fast, but check this out. Here's what we wanna do. I wanna do HTML and I wanna do a template and I want to show that template. And I'm going to show it uh, above or below. Uh, we're going to do it below. B-E-L-O-W, right? And then what I want to do is I want to make a div of a uh, class of uh, example, E-X-A, M-P-L-E, wrapper. And then close this, div, save that. And then we're going to do just in here, like doesn't super matter, right? Uh, div alpha, Div, and then we'll just make a few here and do uh, Bravo and Charlie and then Delta, right? Delta. And then what we want to do is the next thing we do. So if I save that, what I should see is this show up, right? And it should just be a stack of Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta as soon as it shows up. Boop, there we go. And here's our output, right? So what what this template does, um, if I if I turn off the template, it just outputs the HTML like the actual raw HTML just gets loaded in the page, which we'll see in a second. Like it'll only show alpha, alpha through Delta. But when we add this template in the show below, it shows me the, the HTML and it also shows me the raw HTML, right? We see the source code. And the reason that becomes important is because for this example, what we want to do is do CSS and we want to do template show here as well. T-M-P-L-A-T-E show. And then here we can actually do our example E-X-A-M-P-L-E wrapper, wrapper, and then run that and we can do our do, 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 display and grid and then do um, grid template columns uh, repeat I'm going to see if I can remember it off the top of my head R-E-P-E-A-T auto dash fill min max 200 picks one uh free unit or whatever that is. Put a semicolon there, close that. Now, the other important thing to watch for this is notice that I just put this CSS in the content, but it actually loads into the file itself. So you can see like right here, we're seeing, we're actually seeing the stuff. So let's do this to make it a little bit easier. Um, background color uh, is gonna be one PX solid var equals uh, BG, no, black and white, reverse, R V E R S E dash. Um, I, I can't remember if 10 exists. I think 40 does. Uh, and then padding. No, we can do gap, right? Gap is what we should do. So gap of one, uh, whatever, one art rim. I don't care. doesn't matter. Save that. Uh, but what we should see is now all of this stuff is going to work for us. Um, so we should see, oh, the CSS isn't showing up. Wait a minute. Template show, T-E-M-P-L-A-T-E -E show. Why isn't my CSS showing up? It's, hmm, what's happening? Stand by, I broke something, I broke something. Border, border, border. Uh, border where? Dang, the feature border, border colon. Uh, 
Oh, you want to add a border? Background color. Uh, whatever. Uh, where you add? Oh, 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 shit. I, okay, 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 okay. I, I was going very fast. I understand what's happening now. I'm following. Apologies. You're at border in the background. Yes, thank you. I follow now why it's not doing the thing. Um, I also got confused because the CSS isn't actually showing up here, which we're going to fix in just a second. But we should, there we go. And then gap. Uh, so I guess we need margin. One, or one rem. No. Um, wait, shouldn't gap? Oh, gap maybe doesn't work the way that I thought. Those are still touching. Right? The backgrounds are still touching. Gap is in between columns and rows. It does. Your background is on your grid, not on the grid items. Ah, solid, solid, solid. Example, wrapper. See, I'm not, I'm, I'm still learning the CSS kind of ins and outs of all this stuff. I dig that. So if we do this, again, like, like, whatever, it's building 2,000 pages. I'm not super angry at how long it's taking, but I would like it to go faster. Uh, still didn't work it. Why not? It's the same selector. Oh, shit. So here's the problem is I'm I'm trying to talk and like I'm trying to stream and talk and do all the things at the same time. And uh, sometimes that gets complicated, especially when I'm trying to do a new thing that I, it's not in my head yet. There we go. Bravo. Love it. Uh, and it is actually showing up here. So this is cool. So, yeah, skill issue, right? Um, but what should happen now is I do this and oh, the page is not that big. So let's make this um, 80 pixels or whatever. Just make it a little bit smaller so it's got a little room to breathe. Does that, is that going to work? I actually don't know if that's going to work. Reloading browser. Yeah, there we go. So boop. And then, OK, let's make it 100 because we need to see it break at some point. Um, 100, save. And then we're going to run this. Oh, I'm so looking forward to optimizing this and making it go faster. Like, it's going to be cool when you can just like make changes and it just blips. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. So that's exactly what we want to see. So now I've got this example hanging out with all this stuff, right? So here's my HTML. Here's the here's the output. Here's the HTML. Here's our CSS. And like, well, I've got styling that's going to come for that in a minute. But like the key for me is I was able to add that into the content and it showed up. So if I'm doing an example, which we just saw, if I copy and paste the wrong thing, I, it's not going to work. Like the code is live. It's what is what you see in the example is literally hoisted up into the head of the document and and what's run. So less like one of my biggest frustrations with some of the tutorials and whatever is out there is like if you copy and paste the code and it doesn't work that's super frustrating and like i understand how it happens because you make the code in one place and then you try and copy it and you move it to the thing and then you tweak one or the other and it's just like it's a thing i get it but like i want to i want to make that not be a problem uh for the stuff that i'm working on and so we're gonna make it not be a problem now the other thing that i'd like to do is figure out why we're not seeing I, yeah this is just this is just playing with a site day so like we're going to be kind of bouncing all over a little bit, obviously, um, and see what's up with this. So we have code wrapper, CSS section show. All right, let me look at our CSS for a hot minute here because we started to build a code wrapper at one point. And I don't remember where it was, but I want to look at this code, AWS code block. Oh, I made, I named it AWS code block. Got it. All right. So let's go. Cool. I'm going to, we're going to change these up in a second here. Um, let me pull in, if we're on this site, 
I'm gonna quit out. So this example is cool. Like the next time we build the site, it's gonna, it's just working for us. Like we'll see the CSS, we'll see all the things. Um, I do want to add a note in here of something like, uh, this is, this is how I'm making the grid do the thing, right? Just some sentence up here. So it says something uh, before the code. That's a draft. That's fine. All right. So do that. We're going to close out of this one. Uh, I'm going to close out of all of these for a split second. Cause really what I want to do, oh, I need to wait until this finishes. Otherwise it's going to bork everything. Um, so stand by while we pause for that. Now that that's done, we're going to come back over here. I want to go back to the example site just because that goes so much faster. And hopefully I can do this and I can come down here and we can do this and we can come down here and find an example site, which is here. And we can roll that and we can do this. And now we'll be back on the example site. That's going to break because that doesn't exist. Come back over here, run this, do that. There's our example site. Now, uh, go back to the home page on our example site, which was where here's our home page. And here's this. So if I do this now, I just want to see a, can't, a sample code wrapper for a second. So this is code save. Because the other th I have a I have a web component that I built that I'm still tweaking a little bit and need to add the styles to. But this is my web component. Um, and so the one of the things I want to do right now is um, uh, it's got one of the features that I like about it is this, which if you have really long lines of code, uh, it automatically wraps for you, but you can turn toggling off. So if you prefer seeing toggles or not, depending on the code, and then you can also like make the font a little smaller or make the font a little bit bigger and you can copy the code, right? So if we go to Sublime Text, we open a new window and pull it over where we can see it, paste it, like there's our code, right? So this is this is just, all I have to do is I drop this little line in and I get all this functionality because of the template output and using the um, using a web component, which is, I'm really digging that. Like I'm really happy with that. Uh, I still need to style it. Um, it automatically numbers for you. Uh, you can set the number if you want to start at a specific number. I think I have that turned on now. I'm not 100 sure. Uh, if not, it's coming. Um, but what we want to do now is do this. So I want to go CSS and oh yeah, CSS also highlights in my editor here. So like, let's make it something that's real, right? So body, um, body, 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 uh, font size, whatever, three rem, uh, 1.9 rem. I have no, could it be save one rem is not how you do that. Two rem save. Big old font, love it. So now we know that that's connected, but really what I want to do is make that where I can actually see it. Maybe we shouldn't do the body, that's fine. Um, but if I pull this template up now, th this template doesn't have yet that CSS stuff around it, that code block around it. Um, so we're gonna add that now. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna come look at our themes. We're gonna go look at Nope, not themes. Uh, yeah, themes, sections. This is CSS, which is under raw because you can just put raw code in there. And we're gonna go to start and we're gonna go to show. And now in show, this is where all this stuff is coming in. And what we should be able to do here, surely it's not that easy. No, okay, it's not that easy. Um, it's code block maybe? What was my CSS? Uh, let's go look at, let me close that one. Whoops, uh, you come back. Uh, let's look at an HTML. No, what was the one that worked? Code? Code. This is some code. Oh yeah, the other thing we do, check this out. So if I do print, I just want to check and see if this works. Right, that's, oh God. Um, that's Python code, right? So, but we haven't, done Python code yet. So, but if we do Python and save that one, it highlights here, which is great Two, It should highlight there. Fuck. It's not, um, Oh, I don't have, I don't have the syntax highlighting. Hang on a second. I don't have the style sheet in there. If we inspect this, all the styles are added. We, I just don't have a style sheet with actually calling the colors yet. Uh, I'm building that as a separate thing. Um, but the same thing, like all the same functionality there, right? So we got all that stuff. So let's see what that code looks like. 
we start with... Oh, we need to wrap it with an AWS code block. Got it. Uh, so let's start with that. So in show, we just need to do AWS code block. And then possibly this. I hope I, I hope this is the way that I did it because this is the way that makes the most sense to me right now. And I would love it if I was consistent with myself. Oh, that has a code block wrapper in there. Wait a minute. Maybe it's code block. Hmm. I can go look at the actual thing. It's really what I can do, right? So here's code block. Where the fuck does it start? AWS code block. No. Okay, code block is right here. So I'm just going to copy this for a second. YJ. Whoops. YJ. So we're going to start with this code block to do implement all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. And then that closes that code block, so that's fine. If no title, oh, here's all the title stuff. Oh, wait, I can just copy this whole thing, can I? Yeah, I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to copy this block and put that right here. And then we're going to pull code, code num show, all of that stuff. I'll tighten that up too. To do delete this old block when the code is working. Okay, cool. So where's that go to? Goes to there. So I'm going to just paste that down there to get out of the way for a second and then pull this up and we'll do that right there and that closes the code block so I should be able to grab this come back over here go down here do this delete this delete this and delete this and then do we see it work there we go so there's a number highlighting uh reduce font race font I'm assuming the wrapping's gonna work we could make it go super big and then figure it out is it gonna wrap? Is it gonna wrap? It's gonna wrap. I get, you gotta keep chasing it. Oh, the other thing I like about this is if you've expanded the window, if you reduce the font, the window stays the same size. So you're not chase like you only chase it going up if you make it a lot bigger. Um, if we turn wrapping off, it stays the same. So like your buttons stay in the same place. Uh, if you if you make it too big and you have to reset it, you have to just refresh refresh the page. So there you go. Uh, but that's in pretty good shape. Okay, sweet. So that's cool. Um, I'm digging that. I'll look at all the rest of the other crap later. That's fine. So that is going to be, we want to look at GitHub and we're going to go to added AWS code block B L O C K to CSS, right? Is what we just did. Um, and now we need to do the same thing for the HTML page. So on the HTML page, yo, we should just be able to do this. Um, whoops. Nope. Nope. HTML and this is either show above or show below because you have to it outputs HTML as well as uh watch my thing uh div also syntax highlighting fucking love it save that so it, it outputs the HTML on the page and it outputs the source code as well when you do this so you see both things um and then, so right now it's above it if we do below it'll be below it when we hit save right Boop, there we go. Uh, cool, so we just need to edit those things now. So let's do those. So there's code. Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep code open because I was super handy a second ago. And here, we're gonna close CSS and we're gonna look at HTML. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're gonna roll into show above. <coughs> I need a drink. This is what flow state looks like, by the way when we're just like zipping through the things. Uh, all right, show above. So let's pull this same batch here. And I think what we want to do is simply replace this with all the crap that was in our other one. So there's the code block. 
but which we want to start there and we want to go down to here. And if I paste this here, HTML, mm, that's fine for now, I think. Um, subtitle spans, we don't need to check for this flag because we don't need to look for the language. We already know what the language is. It's just going to be HTML. So if we flip this to HTML, save that, hopefully we see some HTML show up here in a second. Rip, didn't go. Possibly, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, this is show above, which one are we doing? I think we just did show below, right? Yeah, so let's look at show above. This is cool, I'm really excited about this because like this is making really good progress. Also, it's possible I broke it. Rip. Unknown end if. Yep, I understand that because we took out an if statement. Yo. Also, this needs to be here. How about now? Boop, there we go, HTML. Uh, again, it should have highlighting styles on it. It does, we just don't have a style sheet attached to it yet. That's the other thing that I did is I made it not inline styles. It's, they're act I switched them to actual style sheet stuff in classes so that you can uh, adjust a style sheet. And the reason that's important is if I'm doing, uh, I can I can set different style sheets based off the background color and have those actually update, which you can't really do as easily with inline styles. So I dig it. Uh, let's chomp that down one. Let's chomp that down one. Let's put that there for a second, because what I should be able to do is the same thing here and just grab that. And now we get a blow. There's output, there's below, paste that. I feel like I'm missing something there, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, if we look at homepage, and if we do show below now, save, uh, there's our content, there's our thing, perfect. And buttons still seem to be doing the thing. Love it. I, 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 really, I really like the web component thing. I need to, I'm writing up the web component. I'm just using light dom stuff for it. So I'm not fucking around with too much stuff, but it's in pretty good shape with uh, with just calling the light dom and setting the styles through the through the element. Like I really like that approach. I'd done some web dev stuff, um, sorry, web component stuff before where I was trying to like do the shadow dom and like make components like capital W, capital C web components. And like, it's cool and all, but like, I don't need that level of heavy lifting. I really just want to be able to wrap something in and have like style it for me and then add some functionality in there, which is what we did. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, back to the thing at hand, right? That was a, that was, I mean, whatever, this is all just work that's cool because like this is the stuff that we're working on. And now we can do added AWS code blocks. By the way, AWS is my initials, not, it's not Amazon. Um, I had my initials long before Amazon was a thing, so I'm still using my initials, uh, but that may be confusing for some people. I should probably figure out how to do something different there, but like I've been doing it for so long, it's a tough habit to break. Uh, AWS code block to HTML and, what was the other thing we did? Maybe it was just HTML, uh, blocks, yeah, blocks. Save that, love it, cool. This is looking really good, I'm digging this. All right, so now we get into some interesting stuff because we're going to start doing a little design work here. And what's neat about this is I get to make the I get to make the design decisions here, right? Um, ooh, my, is pretty good. That is really good. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm going to do that. I like that. I like that a lot. Good call. Um, uh, let's add Charlie in here. What do you say? Uh, Charlie, C H R L A, Charlie, right? Because I want to see, I want to see that break. There we go. So there's a break. One, two, three, perfect. Um, and then we'll zip those down. Just fine. Okay. So for the preview, the preview is going to be what we use for all the like link previews. And what's interesting, oh shit, you know what's interesting about this? 
check this out. Holy shit. This may have just gotten really interesting. This may have just gotten really interesting is really what this is. Um, so let's go find a page. Content. Scratch page. Test file to do a uh, scratch page. Let's just go get cross, uh, b -b 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 this page. Right? So I'm going to just grab its ID. And then back. Oh, we can close all these. Close that. Close that. Uh, close that one. That didn't close. Hmm. Don't like it. that. I got to figure out how to close the no name one without all the rest of them closing. Uh, content scratch page. And what we want to do is grab that. And I want to go to the home page. In, in our first preview here, I want to do this. Uh, ID boop boop. Right. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take that out. Save. Custom would also work. Yeah. I, so I like my over custom just because it's shorter for no other reason than that. Like it's less it's less typing and it's like less uh, it's less characters pushing over on the screen, especially, for example, when I'm working on something that's only, I don't know, 40 columns wide. Um, it, it's nice to have a different thing. Uh, but so check this out. So here's here's an idea. And I don't know if this is going to work or not, but it might. And if it does, it's going to be kind of cool. So we have this preview here, right? And let's open up the preview template. So here is it's under sections. It's under basic and it's under preview start. And like we could call it something else. I may end up calling it something else, but probably we won't. Um, it's going to be a section. It's cool. It's a preview section and we're whoops and we're right here. Save that. So here's all the stuff. So there's nothing. There's nothing in here right now, right? Um, this is the preview save and I'm going to get rid of all the rest of the stuff down here for a second just because it's distracting. So is this thing on right? Um, it looks like my images aren't working right. Oh, yeah, I've got the images off. So images are not working right now. So this is the preview. Uh, we can take all these code blocks that are up here and get rid of them. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Okay. So now welcome to ne welcome to Neapolitan. That was me checking if quotes worked in the title. They do. Sweet. Uh, well, so this I'm just going to be example site. Neo Neapolitan Neo P O L I G N G E N. I do that a lot. Example site. Example singular site. Save. And then what we want to do is run down here and there's a thing, right? So there's, there's our, this is it, right? This is the page. We've got a title. We're making this div wrapper with these preview wrappers and we're putting a preview in there. I'm going to be able to do that if I want to, but I don't think I'm going to need to do that. I think we're just gonna be able to do this. Um, oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Hang on a second. This may be even cooler than I realized in just a second. Um, I, something may have just clicked in my brain that is like actually one of the design goals, but this will be the first time that I've actually done it. And like, that's going to be pretty awesome. If I go look at T-Link here, how does this work? Uh, we're just going to grab all this code for a second and close that. And then this is preview section. Cool, cool, cool. So if I page this and we come in here and actually the first thing we want to do is just see if we can grab that ID, right? So, uh, let's grab the ID, which is going to be if section dot, uh, adders. No flags. No adders. A T R S. I D in section adders. I gotta remember what fucking language I'm in right now. Um, do this. Do this. Do this. End if. Save that. Uh, and then what we want to do is just do section dot adders. I D. Uh, can I do dot ID right there? Uh, it helps if we actually put it inside. You know this stuff. Ah shit. Come here. Nope. Ah, I forgot how to type. I forgot how to type. How do you type? I'm going too fast. Ah, I'm going too fast. See if we see an ID show up. There's our ID. Awesome. We're fucking in. Because this also has, if I'm right, uh, what do we want to do here? We want to do. Actually, it doesn't matter um, if we do the <coughs> pre stuff. Let's do the pre stuff anyways. So pre. Uh, hey, cool. Direct. 
enjoy food. Um, do this, do this, do this. And we do, if I just do page right here and I do two, come here. Nope. Two JSON true. He says questioning. There's our page, which is awesome. That's not the page we want though. Fuck. We need the full site in here. I have the full site. Uh, if I do site.pages section adders ID, what happens? It explodes. Happy meal every time someone gets <laughs> have a happy meal. That's a good that's a good thing to say. Oh bummer. It's still good, like it's gonna work. I don't I just don't know if it's gonna totally work. Or how how much work we gotta do to make it work. So here's the site. Absolute page URLs. Let's do this. Pre so let's make this JSON. To JSON. I'm probably going to end up changing the way that I do this a little bit and actually just throw. Oh, I got to do true. Um, and just bounce off this site object. Config. I don't need all that config. That's going to go away at some point. Um, sections, more config stuff. Where's my pages? Oh, page titles. Oh, I'm just putting in. Fuck. I feel like I want to actually have the full page object there. I just want to send, I want, I need to change this. It's a big change, but I, and it's, it may impact the performance a little bit, but if this is in preview, well, so here's, here's what we can start with. Just check this out. Um, Check this out. This is cool. If we run this, we've got the section ID, right? So there's our section ID. But then what we can do is we can do, uh, so in this preview, we can do show me site. Oh shit, what was it? Page titles? Should have paid more attention. Page underscore titles. Wait, why didn't that work? It should have worked. Oh yeah, but yeah. You've used our copyrighted term. You're going to jail. Uh, page T I T L E S. Why didn't that? This is the site object. We should be. So we've got site right here. I'm missing something really obvious at the moment. P-A-G-E underscore T-I-T-L-E-S and then section adders ID. So we got the ID. Right, because this, whoops, uh, worked. Hang on a second, I gotta figure out what's happening here. So we've got that ID. Which do we have 2GEK? Oh, that's not in there. Page style span types. Why is that not in there? That would be the problem. Scratch page. Scratch. Why isn't that there? By word, uh, does that page exist here? Localized A9 English that it doesn't exist. That page isn't getting generated. Oh, this page is busted. I understand what's happening. Uh, mark, whatever, close it. Um, do that, save it, save it. Refresh, there's the page. Now come back over here. There's our title. Hell yeah. So this is awesome. Damn, this is going to be cool. 
I'm excited about this. So we take this away, save that, do that. And then if we come back over to the home page, I take out this preview, check this out. There's that. And let's put a border around it. So theme files, styles, theme. And then what we wanna do is do preview, preview, wrapper uh, is cool. But really what we wanna have is dot preview right now. Uh, preview section dot preview underscore section, which that's really a dash and not an underscore, right? You know, close enough. And we do border, I don't know why I tabbed over again. Border, uh, one pix, solid, S-O-L-I-D, bar, dash dash, black and white, dash dash, R-E, single dash, R-E-V-E-R-S-E, 40, I think is the thing, do that, close that. So there's our thing. Let's add a little padding to it. Um, oh, here, yeah, we can do this now too, right? So gap is gonna be, uh, 0.3 rem. Why not? Oh, wait. Actually, I have var uh, pad small, right? I'm trying to do everything with variables for the most part. And then here we want to do uh, padding is going to be var pad dash medium, N A D I U M. Close that, save that, run that. We should see it pad up. Awesome. Uh, order dash radius, D I U S is gonna be var uh, radius, R-A-D-I-U-S, R-A-D-I-U-S, dash, small, no, medium. Small, I think I'm using small, medium, and large here. We're going to go medium. Cool, uh, now check this out. So that is really interesting, right? Because I've added this preview, and the only thing I had to do was add the ID on the home page and it just gave me that particular preview and it's built off all of the data for that page so what that means is if i go to span types and we pull this id we should see it just show up cool now even better, uh, let's just save that. So working on previews, working on getting previews working. Save, cool, dig it. And now what we wanna do is add a little more padding there. Uh, where's our padding? Small, medium, let's do large. No, let's do medium, E-D-I-U-M, let's see what happens. Boop, that's good, let's do large. Save. Yeah. Cool, now check this out, even better. Where is this? Uh, 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 uh. If ID, page, site, absolute URL, span children, this becomes section adders.id. And now they're links. So all like I we've now got manual control over what happens with these with these padding things. And what's even cooler about that is we can use the metadata from the pages to control actually what shows up in the previews. So What's the best way to do this? This is, oh, this is where I want access to the full page. This is absolutely where I want access to the full page. Because like the, the, the easiest way to do this, like if we go to scratch page and I come down here and I do like blurb, uh, oh, that's not gonna exist. Yeah, see, here's, I need to, I gotta redo some stuff because what I want to have access to is the entirety of that page. And I don't have that right now. <coughs> Ooh, that didn't work so great, did it? Uh, let's pull one of those away so we can see what's up here. Uh, you go away, please. Do, 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 save. 
It's gonna be a little hard to read, but whatever. Um, yeah, so you have absolute, you see, I'm only passing in certain pieces of data, but really what I wanna have here is the full page object. I can drop this config, I don't need it. I just want this, so really the site should just be the pages. Because right now I don't have access to the metadata for each page. But when we switch to using the pages here, I'll be able to do something like, well, I can do a couple things. I mean, we can do whatever the fuck we want. I can put like a blurb here and I can have like images in the blurb, right? Or yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. This is cool as fuck. I'd be able to do this. I'd be able to put images and shit in here and like, yeah, we got to do that. Okay. That's easy. I mean, it's not easy. It's, it's kind of easy. It's not super hard, but like, that's the way to do that. Because then every page is its own self-contained thing. And like in metadata, you can just control what's happening in there, which metadata, by the way, is a JSON object. Actually, I think it's a YAML object right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it JSON though. And I think I'm gonna make it JSON five to start with, just cause that way we don't have to fuck around with YAML. My original thing was thinking that people could do a transition easily from Markdown with YAML headers or YAML front matter into the metadata here. But long term, I don't want YAML to be there. I want it to be uh, JSON 5. So we'll switch to that too. That's really cool. Oh, that's fucking cool as shit. Like, oh my God, this is like all coming together in my head in a really nice way. Um, yeah, this is gonna be sweet. Like whatever, it's a template system and it's like nothing here is new other than the file format. All the other stuff is the same. I, you know, I'm figuring out as we go how to do that, but it's not, there's nothing super fancy happening here but that file format gives us so much more capability than just straight markdown. And that's just killer is really what that is. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I think we're ready to roll on that. Um, basic B B A S I C preview stuff working. All right, this is gonna uh, like, this is gonna get back into the code a little bit in a way that's probably gonna throw my brain for a second. So like, bumps ahead um because we need to we need to do a couple things here hey Lupta. how's it going morning or as we say in my time zone evening um also did i say that right I don't think I have your name. Afternoon, sweet. Um, yeah, uh, Lopta, L-O-P-T-A, Lopta. What did you, what, uh, let me know if you'd like to be called something really particular and I will add you to my list of names. Um, Cause I don't have the thing off the top of my head. Uh, cool, so what we're gonna run now is where all this shit is. And it's, I haven't touched the Rust code here in probably a month, maybe two. So it's gonna take me a second to refigure out where all this stuff is. Um, and I'm actually, I think I'm gonna do that in code, which I can make the font a little bit bigger so you can see it. Um, I can probably go there, right? And how do we make the font bigger? Um, shit, is that gonna work? There we go, cool. Uh, the, uh, see, so I getting extra flashbacks. Oh, this is, this is NeoVim, um, for these two panes. And then it's Tmux is providing the blue wrappers around it. And so these are just terminals that are running various things. Uh, and then this is VS Code because I like using all the tools. Uh, like I find, I find it a lot easier to like click around and, ex and like find stuff in VS Code rather than in NeoVim. Um, but for my general editing, I like NeoVim better, but like, I don't care. I'm not really just about that shit, but use whatever you want, man. Um, or madam or whoever. 
Uh, her VS Code number. It's pretty slick. Like, it's really, it's really nice. Um, they put a lot of work into it. And, like, the ecosystem for it's pretty, pretty solid, too. Uh, it's, it's well worth looking into if you are like me and like playing with all the toys. Uh, because it's, it's pretty slick. So, let's see. If we look for site mod okay so this is the struct for nah no such thing I mean there can be there can be points where like you don't want to fuck with a workflow I get that totally but I don't think that's an old thing I think that's an experience thing and recognizing when you want to actually mess with a tool or not um but I don't know. I'm not 90 yet. When I'm ask me when I'm 90, and then maybe I'll tell you a different story. But I, I, I think it's, I think you can still play with it if you want to. But you might not want to. In which case, cool. Um. But so this is the struct that we have, right? And so that's that format that we saw a second ago. So really, what I want to do is we're gonna break a whole bunch of stuff right now. Um. I want to pull this up because I want to see that like this is gonna explode. Is what I expect to happen. Because what I want to do here is do pub pages. Ooh, see, here's the trick is this gets into. I have these page payloads. Where's page by itself? Don't I have pages? Or like just a page payload span. Page payload. What's in page payload? Helpers. Break all the things. Hell yeah. Helpers. Oh, that's the crate. Here's the struct. So absolute URL. So this is the page payload. And I think we're cool with this. Like, I, so I'm on version 40 of this, by the way. And I don't want to completely refactor all the way the page works. If I can help it. Um, we're making a pretty significant shift to the way that this is working. So it may be that we end up actually chunking a bunch of code into the river and then starting over with it just out of sanity's sake, because I don't want to like, I don't want to, I don't want to try. I'm not going to try and preserve my existing code at the cost of having to like bend over backwards to try and make the new thing and then making compromises on the new thing. Like this is not production. Like it's in production on my machine, but I'm okay thinking about this as a 20 year project and I want to get the code right as much as possible. So it's right for the next 20 years. Um, but I think we can leave this as page payload to start with and then slowly but surely move things in. So if that is the case, I can go to site. I can go to mod. I can do pub pages and this is going to be a B tree map of a string of page payload. And this is going to explode. I expect. Yeah, cool. Missing pages. Love it. Here, we need to do pages, B tree, map, new. And this should just work again. There's nothing in it. Like, we haven't actually put any pages in it, but like we've set the structure up. Now, there's some other places where I might be making that where it might explode. Um, but that particular one is not going to explode. It may explode other places. But we're not actually calling the pages yet. This is this is really interesting. Oh my god, this would be cool if this worked without having to do just huge amounts of work. Payloads iter. So we, payloads are coming in here as a B tree map of string of page payloads. So wait a minute. Does that mean? Hang on. Are we already there? Because that would be super cool. If that's a B tree map. Can I do payloads clone and have that work? Yo, if that did the thing that I think it just did, I'm going to be really delighted. <laughs> it didn't explode. It didn't explode. All right. Awesome. Okay. Holy shit. That might have actually just done the thing. Uh, let's zip this over here. Let's move this over here. Let's 
we don't even have to mess with the builder. We can go straight back to the example site. We can go straight back to our themes to here. Um, we need to go into sections. We need to go into basic. We need to go into preview. Again, this directory tree is big, but that's we, we need all the we need all those parts. I, I I don't believe you can cut back any more than that. Oh wait, site. We're actually outputting the site. So I should this should be a giant ass page. Yeah, look at this. Holy shit. All the page, all the page, all the page. There's all the pages. This is only like a six page site. Now, here's the thing that you don't want to do that I learned the hard way, which is my actual site is 2000 pages. Uh, let's just, uh, I don't know, copy and paste this into Sublime Text for a second. So my other favorite editor of all my favorite editors, because I have a bunch of favorite editors. This page is, well, it doesn't tell me what the size is. I'll save as. I want to see how big this thing is. And these things go up exponentially, right? Or logarithmically or something. I don't know. But they go up quickly. Because every time you add a new page, every page gets bigger. And you add one more page to the total number of pages. Um, page size, test, text. So with just like a four-page site right now, that file is 300K. The reason I know that you don't want to do this on a 2000 page site is because you can actually run yourself out of disk space. Ask me how I know. Um, <laughs> I got super lucky and that it, it just got like in warning area and I caught it before I added more pages and it didn't actually just completely fill up my hard drive because it can completely fill up your hard drive. So like danger Will Robinson um, on this one. Danger on this since all pages are in the payload now equals equals big files for real though save run it uh, so I'm actually going to take, oh, I'm in Vim. Okay. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to delete that. Like, I don't even want that there. Like that's just danger. Um, but here's the real question. I have this ID now. Uh, here's our, here's our, this stuff. We're in the section. We're in that. I'm going to comment this out. I want that to disappear. I guess I can take this out. Cause that's not actually a thing anymore that I have to worry about. Um, here's our old one. We can take this out and save that do all this this is fine so there's just our empty thing so now what we want to do is we want to pull this back out um i'm going to keep a copy in here just in case we're going to get rid of this so if section id let's just print i'm going to do this piece by piece right so uh section adder whoops section adders id right let's just verify that we have access to that particular thing so we should see our id there perfect now here's the real question if i go uh, and I'm not even gonna worry about doing the JSON or whatever. But if we just do site, 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 pages, section, adders, ID, and run that, do we see the page? Fuck yeah, we do. Holy shit, this is cool. I have no idea what this is gonna do to performance. I don't give two shits right now. This is, we're in the just make it work part. Um, because this is really fucking cool. Okay, so this is, now I have access to that full page object, right? So we go back to VS Code for a second and we go look at this page payload and we look at this, we have all the things that we could want to have here. So here's title as an option, right? So what I should be able to do now is just pull this and do dot title and there's our title. Uh, we can drop this ID now because we know that ID is there and do that. Uh, but then we can also do our link here. So site absolute URLs um, to uh, section adders ID page type section adders ID. I thought it was the same. Oh, it actually was the same. What's different? Something's different. Page site page titles. Oh, this needs to be just pages. ID. Oh, we need to get the URL. Uh, no. Wait, hang on a second. I'm lost. 
Oh, title. There's a the title. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Yo, this is cool. And was oh yeah, this is neat, because I'm not I'm just calling this independently. So like this is fine. Um but what we should be able to do now, yeah, holy shit, man. I am excited about this in a way that is delightful. Uh, content. We want to go look at uh, span types. We're just going to pull this idea again, right? Uh, so come here. We do this. Uh, we go back to our home page and we do dash dash preview. Whoops. And then we do ID. And we paste that. Uh, Craft save. Oop. Oh, there's no title for that page. Is there? No, there's a title. Wait, what the fuck? Span types. Why didn't that work? Combine two vex. So there's a title. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, rip. Come on. That's right, right? Save. Do it. It's there. Let's go back to whatever. I mean, like we're in. Like we're in. Like this is just detail work now at this point. It's not firing at all for that second one. No, that's all right. Check this out, man. This is this is cool. This is fucking cool. Uh, I don't know. It's not working right now, but like, it's definitely not working at the moment. What am I missing? The box showed up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Preview, not pre. But, okay, cool, 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 cool. So check this out. Now, span types, right? We're in span types, the second one here. So check this out. If I do this, if I do blurb right here, and I do, this is a note about the span type. And I save that. And then I go back to here. And I'm just going to do div for a second. And we'll do class equals preview blur B L U R B, right? Boop. Div save. And now if I'm in this page, what I should be able to do. I'm thinking I got to think through this for a second, but I think this is going to do the thing we want to do. Page URL. Oh, wait, shit, that's wrong. This should be pages. Hang on, I don't want to change that yet. Uh, VS Code. Mod. Do we have URL here? Absolute URL. Perfect. So if I do pages, that ID dot that one that should I just let me make sure that still shows up looks like it's still working cool then here what I should be able to do is go for section in site pages section adders again like we can make all this stuff less hacky but the other trick with it is because they're templates you don't have to mess with it if you don't want to, right? In for, do this. And then here, so we've got a section now. We're looping through our sections and we can go, uh, this needs to be sections probably. Sections, I like it when I name things that make sense to myself. Sections, and then here, whoops, you stay there. For the section, as we're looping through it, we're gonna go if section, what do sections look like? Um, where's our theme wrapper? Cause this will actually theme pages, uh, homepage, this section type is what we're looking for. Okay, so section type. So if section dot type equals blurb, we'll close this if, end if, but what we wanna do is just output the section. Uh, and we're gonna output the section in the way that we would do it over here. 
which would be output section with section page. Uh, right here. Theme output. So we need theme in here. We don't have theme yet. Yeah, we do have theme. Okay. All right. Uh, who wants to place their bets on if this works first time? Uh, I'm slightly optimistic. We'll see what happens. Didn't work. Rip. <laughs> I mean, it was it was never gonna work the first time, right? We all right. We had it. We had we had a first time work success earlier. So like, I'm I, we got one, but we didn't get two. Uh, let's just do this and let's see if we see content here. Okay, so there are all the sections. Did I spell it right? Blurb. So this is a blurb. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, actually, hang on. That may not be. I actually don't know. We're not parsing blurbs yet. Hang on. That may have actually worked other than the fact that we haven't created the template for the blurb yet. So let's print these out for a second. Um, I'm going to div this again just to give us something to look at and do section dot type and then close this save. Uh, no blurb. It is right there. Fuck. Why didn't that work? B L U R B blurb theme output page section save. Oh, we did hit it. Why didn't it output? Where am I? Site page section. Why didn't that output? I'm in section. Oh, 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 I see what's happening. Hang on. I think my notes up. So this we're already in a section. Um, so this needs to be for subsection in the sections. And if we do subsection, and if we do subsection, and if we do subsection, what happens? Well, it breaks, or it went away. Well, that's very confusing. If subsection type is blurb, subsection type, What am I missing? Like literally right here, we see the word blurb. And then here, we're not seeing that output, right? Oh, we are. Oh, we're still not seeing site, page, section. Why isn't this working? Hmm, right here. Uh, it's like literally, we're literally right here. Theme, output section, site, page, section. Okay, let's just do site. So the site's there. Page. Oh, we're not doing the we're not doing the pages right. We're doing the wrong page. That's the wrong page. We need to do I found it. Okay, got it. We need to do site, pages, section, adders, ID. comma save do it nope pages all right one at a time again so here's site actually we already did site let's do site pages and see if we're getting this right So there's the page. We're so close. We're so close. And then we just want to do uh, R to that and we'll do R to that. That's fine. We're going to pull back here and do subsection. Save. There's the subsection. Why? No outputty. Hang 
Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Um, is it really that we just didn't have the wrapper? Or sorry, we didn't have the section? Basic blurb. Oh my god. Don't out and print anything for comments. It's yeah, oh my god, it's here. This is the blurb. Uh where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You go away, you go away, you go away. No. Oh. Thought we had it. Subsection type is blurb, theme, output. Site is right. Site pages. We want to send that particular page. And then we want to send the subsection. Oh, wait, hang on. This is the blurb. Show me this is the blurb. Blurb. Found it. So it actually worked. The only problem was we didn't have a template there to actually output anything. We just had a comment in the template, which was, you know, in retrospect, not what should have been there. Yo, this is exciting for me um, to do this. I don't know what all this shit is. Paste that. For output, this seems wrong again. I thought we fixed that. What does the paragraph look like? I guess that is right. For children and stuff. Oh, that's right. <coughs> oh, wait, but it's not right. It needs to be that. Save that. Okay, that's fine. I don't remember what that is. So close this, close this, close this. Okay, yeah. We're in. We're in, we're in, we're in. Uh, that's end. Here's full which we need to grab and then close down to blurb full, which is going to be not blurb. And this will be blurb. Save that. And then here's our start, which again, we'll pull from here. Close that. Uh, close that. Uh, close the, close the, close the, close the open E. Paste, go save. And then you're not dumb. No, no, no dumb talk. Not allowed. Look at that. Look at that. Blurb section. This is a note about the span type. Yo, this is, this is pretty fucking hot. Not gonna like. Ah, nobody can do reg X. Dart doesn't like my reg X. Nobody can do reg X. I do. Um, without looking up. Oh uh, yeah, I can do like super minor, but um, reg X M dumb. Uh, reg X. Well, I mean, hey, okay. Here's a here's a here's another like ground rule, right? It may not be hard for you, but that doesn't mean it's not hard. Right, because hard is like a personal thing, right? Like whether or not a thing is hard for me or hard for you can be very different things. So maybe like I'm pretty good at reg X, but not reg X isn't that hard. Like that's a better like way, I think. Like I'm really into language, if in case you haven't noticed. And I think that's an important one to do because especially people who are newer to code, if you tell somebody who is brand new to code that reg X isn't hard, then they, and if they have problems, then they think they are dumb. And that is not, generally speaking, true. So, yeah, language. We're going to work on it. Uh, sweet. So check this out. If we look at this now, we got to find the other thing. Where is... That's published. Where was our one where we were looping through the thing? Preview blurb. Four section. Section type. So if I take that away... Yo, this is awesome. Because now, where's Carmen Sandiego, right? Uh, Carmen Sandiego is Carmen Sandiego here? Question mark? No. Oh, Blurb needs to have a flow on it. Let's add flow to Blurb. But how cool is that? Like, I just put that ID in there, and it just throws the Blurb out there for me. It gives me, a, sorry, it gives me a link. I'm really excited about this because I get to control the actual blurb 
I don't know if I want to call it blurb though. Do y'all agree with wrong? Blurb is wrong. It's because, um, so this is gonna be funny. I'm gonna look at Ragax and I'm not gonna actually be able to tell you. Um, oops, I should look at it at a place where you can see me looking at it. It would be helpful probably. Uh, where is it? I'm not even seeing the Regex. Has NC match? Yes, yeah, 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 uh, Prince False. I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> um, here, let's add, uh, what are we, where did, what file are we in? We're in blurb but we want to go look at blurb here and here we want to add flow so here's what i want to do uh what i want to see here is i want space in between these two paragraphs i don't know if we're actually going to end up calling this blurb though um but if i do flow that should be a css call right there that gives me that space oh i am so super excited about this i this came together. I like I, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know how I was going to do it or how the tool was going to do it. But like this is the first time I've really used the tool with this degree of like stuff happening with it. And like. I'm excited about that for real. The, like the, the biggest thing I'm going to run into at this point is. Um, is the template system, right? Is the naming and figuring out like how, like what we want to have for different things. Um, I haven't used blurb yet. And I think, I think I am just gonna leave that as blurb. But what we should be able to do, hang on a second. And this might be, this is gonna be really interesting. Potentially. It's gonna be interesting to me because it's either gonna work or it's not. But if we go back to VS Code for a second and we go back to our builder, nope, to our uh, Neapolitan, and we look for image down here, we're gonna turn image parsing back on, which we need to like mess with this at some point so it actually caches. Because um, right now it's not. <laughs> VI versus Emacs. Blurb versus blurb, blurb. I did blurm earlier with an M at the end of it. It sounded like Futurama. Um, but so check this out. Here's the first question. If I just go to the home page, can I add an image here? Uh, do I even have images in here? That's the question. Uh, Neapolitan, example site, images, example fish, which is not really a big image. Test images. There you go. So there's a... Oh, here's the other thing I like about this. Um, when you add images, you don't have, uh, this is how you add an image. You just put the name in. You don't have to worry about the path. And if things are working, it's gonna show up. Things are not working. Oh, there it is. Yeah, perfect. Oh, and look, it's sized. So check this out. Yo, if this works. So blurb right now, if we make blurb a wrapper and do that, do it, do it. Our image goes inside. Oops, I need to have a paragraph there. Look at that. I mean, fucking look at that. Like that's all we had to do. You can blurb a rapper, the second album might be okay. <laughs> I can now, like there's our preview, man. Look at that. And like, so this one doesn't have, um, what of things on it, uh, like anything on it, but like it does, like it is. It's its own HTML element. Like we can do whatever we want to there. Oh, check this out. This will be, this is going to break in terms of the amount of size that we're trying to put in there. But like, if I go to, uh, is that the, this one? No, it's the, this one scratch page, right? So if I'm in here, there is no blurb, but if I do blurb, 
blurb. Here we are. Here we are, right? Again, we'll optimize so the images aren't trying to do the thing, but there's here we are. But now if I do this, and I do like code and I do like Python and I do like print. And this is going to break in terms of the size of this, I think. But if I do that. Go faster, go faster. I can put a Python block in there, right? And like, check this out. So if I do no buttons. No, nah, it didn't work. Um, oh, no button. Plural. And let's also do no nums. No nums. And see what happens. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Owen. How are you? Well, shit. Okay, I haven't turned on no buttons and no nums yet. But like this, these can turn off the buttons and turn off the numbers. So we actually just put in a code block, right? Um, and like that would be styled. But like I can make any, like I can put anything anywhere. Like we have, like that's the whole thing with this is like my vision for this is basically you have these Lego pieces and you can build bigger Lego pieces out of them and then assemble either the smaller ones or the bigger ones into pages and do whatever the fuck you want with them. But like, I mean, that's, that's really cool, man. Like, I am super excited about this. Uh, here, let's just do like a pre because I don't think pre has this is a thing. I don't remember what the wrappers is around that. This is a thing. Oh, it's fucking. So like, here's a line of code. Oh, you know what's even cooler? Shit. Hang on. I want to see if something exists already. It might or it might not. I can't remember if we built it or not. If not, we're going to do it right now. But first, we're going to do this. Let's save this. So what do we have in here? What did we do? We added, added basic previews. Save it. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Oh, you know what? Hey, can we put a, can we put a video in there? YouTube, um, uh, DEF CON, D and Shutify, zippy, 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 zippy. What happens if we do this? It's probably gonna completely be styled wrong, but does it show up in the right place? Oops, save. No, it does not. Oh yeah, it does. Shit, there it is. So if this was sized right, we could put a preview of a video inside the thing. And like, oh my God, we could copy nodes. So like this, this video, so like what would, the problem right now that I would have with this is in order for this video to show up on the page, I have to duplicate it, right? Oh, the other thing that's going to do, whoops. Yeah, definitely didn't like that. Um, it's also duplicating there. So when you go into our theme templates, pages, homepage, and if it's not blurb, and we want to do that on post and not blurb, right? So uh, we, wanna, we don't want to print the blurbs on the page that it's actually on, right? But <clears throat> what we can do is check this out. If this is gonna, this is this is either gonna work or it's not. Uh, so let's do this. Um, fixed, uh, removed, blurb from regular page output, and then um, interesting box. Yeah, isn't it? Like it's cool, right? I'm really happy with this. I mean, I'm super biased about it, right? But like, I'm super happy with this. Uh, let's take that out for a second. I don't know how to size that down, so I, I don't want to fight with it at the moment. Um, oh, that's so cool. And like we could, oh my God, you could do all kinds of shit. You could do. You could like make this like, isn't there CSS stuff you can do to like make this always be two line height, but not more than two line height and have it like fence itself off or whatever. So like you can always have your images like, you know, always have the headlines be the same height or do whatever um, and make them consistent and have the stuff be consistent across the board. And then like, uh, oh, what was the fuck? I was about to do something and I completely forgot what it was, but like this, like I kind of don't care. 
because it's like doing the right thing. Oh, 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 I know what I wanted to do. Yeah, check this out. So check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Holy fuck, if this works, it's going to be awesome. Um, we're going to go into our combined two Vex in Rust page. So I, I need to rename this to whatever the fuck the name of this file is. So this is scratch page, scratch test page, S-C-R-A-T, scratch page test testing save really need to fix the image cache reload go so scratch page testing nothing's on this page like here's the blurb which we've got which is fine um so uh this is the blurb so if we go back here and we go back to our home page margin min something like yeah cool I, and we will absolutely look that up. Like, so I'm not worried about styling right now. Right now I'm just trying to like get the chunks in, um, but I'm thinking a little bit about what we can do styling wise, right? Um, but so here's, this is the blurb. There's nothing else on this page right now. If I put CSS up here, right? I can do CSS template show, and then we can do like um, body, no, uh, how do you do CSS? Body, uh, color, uh, goldenrod goldenrod save right so once this builds i may take that image out in a second just so it moves faster but like now there's goldenrod right we've changed the color of the page cool so here not dumb stop it with the dumb you were, you may, you missed the thing. You're not dumb. Um, and, and by the way, it is possible to do a dumb thing. Like you can do, you can do a dumb thing, but that does not make you dumb. All right. If we look at this, I need to find what, what the fuck did I call it? I didn't document it yet. Um, sections. And I think it's going to be in raw. And then I'm going to look at no basic. Where is it? Code copy, which I want to rename this to copy code, which when I do that, I need to restart this. So I think it's going to freak it out. And then I need to go into pages for a second. And this needs to be, oh, I already named it there. Copy code. Cool. Which means it's probably right there. Okay. So that's called copy code. And then here we need to go look at what copy code does for a second. Start boom. Um, highlight wrapper. If no buttons, whatever. So we need to look for adder start oh yeah, yeah start and end okay cool i remember what we did now all right i have no idea if this is gonna work um this is the blurb so we have we have on the page we have this line of css right these three lines on our home page once it reloads we have this as the blurb but if i do copy code start one end one I have no idea if this is going to work it's going to break fuck oh rip okay 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 hang on oh, oh you got to give it an ID um ID equal uh, sorry uh, ID equals uh, copy target and then here if we go to copy code and we do from copy target save that refresh nope fuck I was really hoping that was gonna work uh okay let's go look at actually how it works like but the cool thing is like I can make this work like we can like we can absolutely make this work uh let's zip this over just so we can see a little bit more for right now and see what's up and you come over here please thank you and line number start. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. If no nums, 
Okay, flags. This is where highlighting would be awesome. We've got start and end. Section start, if no buttons. Copy code section. Let's copy code now. We changed that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on. Shit. We, uh, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. We changed the name of the thing, but we didn't change the name of the thing here. Copy code. Save. Firefox. Refresh. Look at that. There's our CSS right there. So what that means, and I can do this, so I can already do this on the page. So on the page itself, if I'm down here and I can do like H2, like this is a copy and save that. I'm gonna turn image, I'm gonna turn the images back off for a second. We've already proven the images. So we're gonna turn images back off for a second just cause it's slowing us down. Uh, when we get the caching in place, that'll be fine, but we're not there yet. Uh, boom, 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 boom. You go here. And then what we wanna do is uh, on, let me bring this back over so we can see what's up. Yo. Where'd Firefox go? There you are. Yo. Um, so if I click on this page, here's the page. So scratch page testing. Here's our original CSS, which is right here. Here's this as a copy. What I can do here is I can do copy code again. I can do from uh, copy target. T-A-R-G-E-T. -E I can do, let's just do start to, like, let's just say we want to see that this line, right? The color line here. Start to uh, I end to save. Reload browser. Oh, from wait, why didn't that work? What did I do different? We literally had it right here. It's the same thing. What did I do different? Copy code, copy code, copy target, whatever. Just delete it. Ooh, that was a little much. Save. Reload. Well, what the hell, man? Copy code. Why didn't that work? Hang on a second. That's really weird. Oh wait, maybe we don't need it here. Four page sections. Oh, 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 oh look at this. Ka output section, that's still on V2. Uh, which we need to do on the homepage as well. Nope, we already did on the homepage. Refresh, give me it. Look at that. Uh, two, two. So what we can do, like you can have, here's the whole idea with this, right? Is if I want to talk about this particular line of code, I'm not going to copy and paste the line of code. I'm just going to like call this on it and then sp spit it back out. And eventually what we'll do is like actually put in the code blocks around it or whatever. Um, which I actually don't know why that's not there. Actually, hang on a second. Let's fix that. That should have been there, right? Start default. Yeah, I think we should have had all that stuff already. Uh, that's a lot of shit. I don't want to mess with that right now. I can make the code block show up there later. Um, oh, I don't want to fuck with that right now. Okay. I'm starting to, I'm starting to run out of some juice here, but what we can also then do is, is put that on the blurb, right? So on the homepage, here's that CSS. Like I can actually say, this is talking about like this line of code. Uh, so back here on our, where are we? Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's close some templates. How about that? Template, template. Here we go. Code blurb. This is the blurb, uh, in which we examine E X A M I N E. And then we're going to do line two, line two, just so it's actually like a line or whatever. Color goldenrod, right? Boop. 
So like that, if in my example, I change that from goldenrod to blue, it shows up on the preview as well in the blurb. I didn't have to, I changed it in one place, right? There's no duplication there. Like, that's, I'm really, like it, this is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Like this, this was, this is doing the thing that I wanted to do. This is my first usage of it to actually make it do the thing. And this is fucking killer. I am so happy with this. And by the way, there's no, so let me point out a couple important things for me in this. There is no database behind here. I don't have to log into anything. This file does a hundred percent of that when combined with those templates. There's no JavaScript framework. It's just this file, the engine and the templates combined. That's it. And it builds out a static site that you can just throw up anywhere you want. And it's just going to fucking work. And like, I think that is going to be useful. And I think it's going to be very cool. And I think I've run out of energy because fuck man, that is cool shit. I'm really happy with this. Um, okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's bounce. Um, because I think I'm, I think I'm done for the evening. I'm probably gonna fuck around with this for a little bit more, but like, uh, that's, we're probably good for now. Um, where do I plug in the COBOL? Uh, so you can, um, there's plugins actually that you can call. They're not, they're not, the plugins haven't been built yet, but plugins are coming and you can shell out to anything you want. So if you have COBOL on your machine, and you want to shell out and do COBOL, you can absolutely do COBOL with it. It will 100% work. So you, you, we've got you covered. Oh, sorry. That's, that's a feature that's coming in a future phase, but it is on the specific like plan and drawing board, and, like all the things like we're, we're working on it. It's definitely coming down the pipe. So, uh, cool. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, that's going to run it for me for now. Uh, we're going to go, I saw Chris was on. We're going to go right Chris for a second. And, um, Hopefully he streams for longer. I don't know. I'm not even paying attention. We're just going to run it and see what happens. Um, but yeah, y'all have a good one. We'll do it again soon. And probably tomorrow actually is really when, uh, cause this is really exciting for me. I'm really happy with where this is headed. Uh, in the meantime, y'all have a good one. We'll catch you soon and cheers. <laughs>